Good evening, everybody. Welcome on in. I hope y'all are having a wonderful night tonight. It's uh, it's good to be back on Twitch after taking a little bit of a break. And funnily enough, I'm actually going to be getting a break from my job this week because hours are getting cut thanks to a little uh, overscheduling on the part of my management. So I'm getting like five days to just fuck off and do whatever. So that'll be good. That'll be good. It'll be good to just kind of get some time to myself. So it's good to be back on Twitch. And I'm, of course, back on Twitch once again with my uh, lovely friend spiral galaxy we're gonna be playing some receiver 2 which is a wild fucking game that i just bought yesterday and i'm already enamored with it it's a really really anomalous kind of game and i like it a lot so <clears throat> i'll uh i'll hold the pleasantries for our proper introduction so i'll bring us on down to the bar and we will get on with that right now spiral you are live introduce yourself Ah, I huh. sorry, I had my line mute off. Fuck. <laughs> nice. Uh, hi, my name is Spiral Galaxy. I'm the funny he he who who Fennec Fox VTuber who's currently on hiatus. Uh, I'm probably gonna start streaming again next week. I think actually, just gonna kind of get back into it. No, no real song and dance. I'm uh, waiting to do a re debut for a few months from now when I've got some more stuff planned uh, going in the works. Um, yeah, so that, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, be sure to check out my content in about a week or so, or if you want to see more of it right stat now, you can check my VOD channel. I've got quite a few videos up. Mm hmm Also, holy fuck, we just got raided by Drift right when we started. Oh, hell yeah, Drift Raid. Let's go. Hey, yo, Drift. <clears throat> okay, uh, let me... I'm, I'm trying to... Give me a second here. <laughs> the, the, the Twitch... The twitch of the spiral. I sometimes forget. Oh, here we go. It's it's actually a lot less complicated than I thought it was. Okay. Uh, S O Spiral Galaxy. Here's your fat shout out, everybody. Uh, go watch Spiral's content. This is not this is not uh, optional. This is mandatory. Go do it. Um, and thank you so much, Drift, for that fucking raid. Uh, go watch Drift also, who is insanely based. Uh, funnily enough, uh, the three of us, Spiral, Drift, and also Patch, who was also in the chat. So me, Spiral, Drift, and, and Patch have been watching a lot of Breaking Bad lately, which is why that <laughs> stupid fucking video is on my Twitter that I'm genuinely proud of. My, my co-worker, by the way, told me he was at a fucking party and played that shit on, like, the aux. No, oh, man, I'm Skinny Pete. Yo, is that Skinny Pete? Dude. That's skinny, oh, yeah, I'm skinny, skinny Pete. Pete. <laughs> Damn, I'm Skinny Pete. Yo, that's Skinny Pete. <laughs> this is gonna <laughs> yes, get all Ashley, really yes, fucking look, fast. Ashley's here. Ash, what's up? Welcome on in. Hello, Ashley. Let me give you a shout out as well. Ashley this Whiskey, an in, 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 <laughs> insanely based individual. Glad to have them up in the chat today. How's your day, Ash? And how is your day, po uh, po Patch? Proto, Proto Patch? Patch Fester. Oh, 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 God. We were playing multiverses. It was fun. Oh, nice. Good fucking shit. Were you, was uh, was Drift beating your ass with perfect cell? Ash says, I'm interested in seeing how you handle firearms. Oh, just you wait, Ashley. You're going to like this. So now's as good a time as ever. Uh, so me and Spiral tonight are going to be playing a game called Receiver that is an interesting little FPS game that is mainly based around its insanely in-depth simulation of real-life firearms. But I've decided that... This game, as difficult as it is, wasn't difficult enough, so I've added a brand new redeem. If you go down into the chat, into the channel points thing, you'll notice a brand new redeem called Bletjack. This is what I added. <laughs> it has a cooldown of five minutes, so don't get any fucking ideas. But if you redeem oh, man, this, I'm Pete. holy shit, that's Skinny P. <laughs> if you redeem this every, if you redeem this for 1,000 channel points, and I'm using a revolver, that's only if I'm using revolvers. I have to drop what I'm doing and play one round of Russian roulette with myself. <laughs> so this will be a little bit fucking silly, wacky. Patch says no, we were beating other people's asses with perfect cell and Bugs Bunny. Got FF14 raid later. Oh, thank you so much for the lurk, and I hope you have a wonderful time in FF14. So good luck, homie. Thank you so much for dropping in again, Drift. You the best. So, um, Cell, you've been playing this game for quite a while. Yes, I have. I've beaten the original receiver, and then receiver two. I have quite a number of hours, and I can give you the exact total here because I have it open right now. Nice. Uh, I have 49 hours in receiver two. Damn, that's almost as much as I have in Dark Souls 2. 
<laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, and I and I have loads, loads more in the original receiver. I <laughs> loved that game. That game was so fun. Ash says, I don't know, I feel like you might be underestimating receiver. Don't worry. I did some recon and was playing this game for like three hours last night. I know what I'm in for. I think. Um But yeah, so it's it's gonna be an interesting little time. Um, I was gonna say, I, I mostly know about this game because I was looking for, like, really cool in-depth FPS games that aren't fucking Arma, so they aren't optimized like dog shit. And, uh, <laughs> I, I noticed something, I was like, wait, this publisher's familiar. And I'm like, holy shit, it's the Overgrowth and Lugaru people! Yep. They made this! And, and you can yeah, find sure arcade did. machines in this game that say Overgrowth that on say them. say Overgrowth on them, yeah, isn't that great? Kind of disappointing they didn't have any with Lugaru on it, but I guess even they've probably forgotten about Lugaru. Does anybody remember Lugaru, the rabbit's foot? I remember it. I thought it was a good fucking game. Except for, like, the last act where it gets ridiculously difficult. But I was playing it on a Mac with a trackpad, so uh, maybe, maybe, maybe that was me. <clears throat> anyway, I think I'm ready to dive in. So, let's fucking go. <clears throat> so here we have Receiver 2 with some banging ass music in the intro. Um, always, always love uh, songs that are like made out of sampling oh, man, gunshots. Holy Pete. fuck, that's Skinny P. Right? Yo, <laughs> and, I'm Skinny P. Yo, I'm man. I'm never gonna get over this fucking <laughs> redeem that you added. I love this so Skinny much. Skinny Pete. <laughs> Yo, I'm Skinny P. Yo, man, the Breaking I'm Skinny Bad Ring is so real, though. <laughs> to be honest, I I really think that you should put the fucking Twitter post that you made, the the audio version, as like a bit redeem. That would make for a great bit redeem. Don't give me any ideas, Spiral. Don't give me any no, ideas. I'm serious. Like, do, do it. That's fucking brilliant. Okay, I might. You really should. I, I might do it. <laughs> God damn it. But yeah. So, uh, fucking. Let's see here. So, here we are. We got ourselves a revolver. By the way, Sparlow, I was telling you last night, I found out something fucking hilarious. So, if you open hmm. up the uh, thingy, just looking up makes all your shit fall out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love that. Can I join you two for a bit? Um, If it's all right, I think I'd... Um, I kind of only really got, like, the audio set up for, like, two people tonight. But I do appreciate uh, the... Um, the... Um, what is it? Um interest in being on i would love to have you on sometime actually i promise that would be great no worries though uh so yes. yeah so as a quick little side so because i've been simulating a lot with what goes on in this game so obviously uh you can put one hand here and i'm just gonna real quick fucking spin that chamber and close that shit oh wait i gotta there we go okay you actually have to cock the hammer and uncock it it's ridiculous so here's what happens <laughs> if you decide to cock the hammer and then holster it it will immediately, like, dumb fire it because that's, like, an accidental fire. So that's how I'll be playing Russian Roulette. So I'll essentially have to dump everything out of my mag, fucking spin the cylinder once, snap it shut, hit the thingy, and then holster it. And that's what happens if you redeem the Bliet Jack redeem. Because I don't know if I can get away with just calling it Russian Roulette on Twitch. Because our, our benevolent overlord, the Twitch Terms of Service, probably won't allow it. So I had to get a little bit creative. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna say almost certainly, probably not. That would not fly to Twitch TOS. <laughs> what's funny um, is, no, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you're fine. Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say what's funny is that revolvers in this game are actually surprisingly easier to handle than semi-autos, <laughs> especially with the stupid fucking Glocks not having a proper safety because they think the stupid double trigger mechanism is sufficient. The double trigger and the grip safety. Because uh, most modern Glocks have a grip safety, too. Right? So, the whole idea what we've got going on right here so far is that I have to collect five different tapes that are all essentially, like, weird instructional, like, audio. And sometimes, also, they result in some weird anomalies that end up with me, like, shooting myself if I'm not paying attention. It's like a, hey, are you actually listening kind of test. So, that's what we're up to. And also, there's turrets. Uh, you are going to say something, though, Spiral. My bad. Mm. No, I was just gonna muse uh, on the Glock and what I think of it. Um, it's it's such an interesting platform, but it's such a bitch to use in this fucking game. Highly recommend yeah. that you lower your FOV to 40 for accuracy. I would do that, but I am also extremely susceptible to motion sickness, and playing on an FOV that low will have me throwing up. Not only that, but like I think half the fun oh, in this shit. game is having a mo- Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just, just fucking instant. Like I, 
<laughs> I also love that your pistol just falls right flat in front of you. Good luck. Thank you so much for the best wishes, Ash. Good to have you up here in the chat for, uh, for additional guidance, because I think I'm going to need it. Good luck was had. <laughs> God, they fucking spawned yeah. me in with, like... No, Ashley plays at 40 FOV in this game all the time. I I get it, like, from an aiming perspective, but to me, it's like, it feels like I'm playing Call of Duty then. I do sorely miss the absence of a lean function, but you know what? That's because I play too much Slop Chank. God. Yeah, and, like, there, there's, there's, like, I have no qualms with people who choose to, who choose to play this game at a low FOV. It's just, to me, it's, like, part of the fun is the experience uh, of, like, having to handle the firearm closer to how you would in real life with it being a good distance away from you and having to read those irons. Oh, yeah. Also, this game has quite a high dynamic range, so mixing it is going to be a little bit difficult. I might even have to compress it if it gets bad. But uh, let me know if the game is too loud, because this audio sounds a bit quiet, but as soon as you hear gunshots, it gets fucking blistering. The Don't forget, you can... Uh, there's an option to soften the gun sounds. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. There is an option for that. I might actually turn that on for tonight's stream, just because, like, to, you know, like, kind of ease people's ears on that. Um, Ash says, the safest way to use semi-auto is to leave the chamber empty and rack it when you're about to engage a target. That's true, because you don't, like, all of, most of your targets, at least so far in the game, please don't spoil me anything, Spiral, seem to be mostly stationary. So you wouldn't really have to, like, rack it in preparation like that. I don't really have to, like, be running around with the hammer cocked like a dumbass. Mm. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I will say you would already know what you're up against if you paid attention in the compound. I didn't pay attention to the compound, so well, maybe that's I'm, the in best, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I, by the way, after enough sessions of me flopping it pretty hard last night trying to do some recon, hearing the phrase, you have seen the signs around you, I'm like, I get you it. Have I've seen, seen the, the fucking signs. signs. It was right before my eyes. I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. I had to. All right. ba -ba -ba -ba. Also, you hear really cool. Remember. You hear fucking dying light uh, singing whenever you're near the tapes, so. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to make a dying light joke. I I already made a joke when I was like listening to the music and I'm like, no way. Receiver soundtrack ripped off Dying Light? <laughs> Listen, man, Dying Light soundtrack ain't nothing to fuck with. That's an amazing fucking score. I, I honestly really, really like it. And it's one of the main soundtracks that got me into like um like synth and retrowave style music. It's just a fucking phenomenal score. There's like so many songs that all hit. I tried to tell you. Oh wait. Uh oh, wait, hold up. This this sounds like a bad one. So here's the thing. If it if it sounds like if it sounds like like a a, a Twitter thread of questionable uh, emotional, yeah, it usually means empty your fucking chamber right now. Here we go. If it starts to sound like really really like sad stuff, it's like no, empty your fucking chamber now. See, I knew it. Yup. See, at least it's not like in Stalker Gunslinger, where if the game recognizes your weapon is empty, you'll just stab yourself instead. Because that happens, and I hate when it happens in Stalker. Oh, wait. Oh. The threat recovery tape for the full story. Okay, I'm interested. Oh. I also like the turrets kind of make like an engine sound effect, because they do literally sound like somebody just put like a fucking like little like turbine engine or like a fucking little lawnmower thingy on top of like a gun. It's it the oh yeah. <clears throat> so here's my burning question, uh, Spiral. Without spoiling anything, what the fuck is going on in this game? <laughs> uh, well, the TLDR of the experience is that you are part of a group of people called Receivers who were preparing for this eventual event called the Mind Kill uh, that was being orchestrated by a very uh, abstract group called the Threat. The threat essentially seems to be some sort of entity, whether it's a group of people or some sort of higher being or maybe a machine intelligence. It doesn't really matter. Either way, the threat uh, is in complete control of the media of the real world and is able to uh, manipulate people to the point to, to where they become vulnerable. And then the mind kill was used to delete all these vulnerable people, to kill them. And there are two kinds of receivers. <clears throat> there are receivers that were destined to train do their best to prepare other receivers for the time ahead and record all of these tapes. 
And then there were the receivers who were destined to survive the mind kill and pick up on their inherent training that they either barely remember or learn more about over time and use it to become fully awake within the main reality instead of this dreamlike reality that the threat has put everyone in. It's basically just a bunch of sci-fi jargon mashed into a <laughs> game, but it has some interesting themes uh, about uh, like excessive media consumption and uh, like the nature of... Uh, of how that relates to to mankind and and how we view ourselves and not only that but a shit ton of shit ton of genuine instruction on how to operate firearms safely so this is this is no matrix this is no like fucking uh evil within thing the real world has essentially been like altered in some really like fucking weird way and just like people people who aren't receivers just all got fucking thanos snapped it is implied that, like, you're in some sort of altered reality, uh, not unlike the Matrix, and you're trying to wake up from from that and wake up in the true reality. But the thing is, uh, that's the whole crux of the game is getting out of that reality, not even just getting... Because, like, the receivers understand the nature of the threat and understand how to ignore it, but they're stuck in the threat's reality. So that's the main trouble with it. But, it, but it's not like... Oh, wow, one shot, okay. But it's One not shot, like yep. I'm not like plugged into any kind any type of like computer or machine and I'm not like in somebody's like brain or something. This is like this would be like if it's not like a real like if it's not like the existing current reality that we all inhabit, it's like essentially like a sort of like alternate but you know like non artificial existing reality. Uh yeah, yeah. That would be a good way of looking at it. It's a bit hard to explain because I'm very un I'm not very well versed in like discussion of this type of theme, so it's a little bit Oh, I see you, motherfucker. It talks about a lot of <laughs> shit that uh is very heavy in subject matter, and I often give a trigger warning to people, uh, no pun intended, when I play this game. Naturally. Cause I opened it up and I'm like, damn, okay, this they they're not playing, they're not playing. Gotcha. I probably didn't have to shoot him twice. So, let me ask you this. The device at the back, that would be the ammo box? Or... Correct. All right. And the the device at the front is probably what? It's firing mechanism or something? The is... device at the front is its uh, barrel, which you can bend and make it harder for it to shoot properly. That top little stovepipe looking thing, I honestly have no idea what that does. But I would imagine out a its sensor. Shooting out its light is the important part in front because then it can't see you alternatively if you look in those internals there you can see that it has a motor and a battery i just want to have more rounds than this come on you can do it come on it's fine fuck you i don't like that it doesn't eject all of them on the first one it's weird oh hey that's that's correct actually all right then I'll just hack it anyway, just to add insult to injury. Yeah, so like, uh, shooting the battery is ultimately the best thing to do, because it's a guaranteed kill, but it's hard to pull off. And you have to consider things like bullet penetration. Oh, you shot the motor. I did? Yeah, yeah but, you now shot the motor. but now it's looking at my only point of entry. Well, now what you have to do, <laughs> if, if you want to know how to overcome this, is you have to look at where its threat cone isn't, and then sprint to that. Or I could just flank. That too. Uh, also, yeah, Ashley pointed out, um, Fire was telling me about that, so if it detects you before you shoot the ammo box, it already has a round, like, uh, fucking racked, so that means, like, even if you fucking take out its thing, it'll be like, hey, mm -hmm. I, I can fucking see you. Okay, I can't believe I fucked myself over like this. Ammo box is a good <laughs> first shot if you think you can snag it before it sees you. If you can't, that's one you have to be careful with because of that fact. Usually I can, thankfully, but... There we go, I hear you. you, have seen the signs around you. Oh my god, if I have to hear oh, about man, the signs... Skinny Pete. Yo, dude, that's Skinny P! <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Hi, Sen, how you doing? Welcome on in. I am currently... Uh, Sen, make... hello! I'm making it very obvious that I uh, only took one firearm safety course, and it wasn't for pistols, I'll tell you that much. I hope the map does actually loop around, so I'm not just trying to flank for no fucking reason. Also, t having to actually tap the running key is a really nice touch that I enjoy. 
it kind of really immerses me, and it's it's silly little shit like that. Oh, hey, unlock the deagle in the in the range. Oh, nice. Juan Deeg is is Juan Deeg real? Oh, that was nice. Oh, oh shit! You got oh, waylaid by two through the fucking cracks. Through the fire and the flames. Peeker's advantage. Peeker's advantage. Yo, dude, I'm skinny Peek. <laughs> Later levels will heavily punish you for being wasteful with your ammo. Oh, don't worry. I'm used to being punished for being wasteful with my ammo. I play survival horror games. Oh, this is, uh... What? Uh... Um, it's something. Fucking excuse me? What, what, what do you make of all of that? What do you make of all of that, dear I Sasha? I feel like I'm watching Gemini Home Entertainment right now. <laughs> Later levels will punish me, but tomorrow never comes. Take off the glasses. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm taking off the glasses. Let me set that timer. What's up, Kite? Yo, yo, hold up. Let me give two shoutouts to the homies Kite and Sinful Scientist. How you doing, Kite? What's up? How is your day going? We are currently, uh, currently having this weird combination of, uh, guided relaxation and gun safety. And also some type of... Weird. I don't know, man. This game's weird. But I like it a lot. I fucks with it. But it might be a little bit too smart even for me. Now let me see here. I'm trying to, like, lean forward and see if... Okay, okay. So those ones are not usable. But this one is. <clears throat> Being able to actually tell what rounds in your uh, fucking cylinder are spent because of the hammered firing pins is... I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not using those words correctly, but Spiral knows what I mean. And being able to tell that is a really, really nice thing that so few games don't actually do, mainly because I imagine in moment-to-moment -moment gameplay it probably isn't that uh, important in a lot of games, but in this one it absolutely is. So they they made sure not to skimp on that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and that's the that's the thing to consider is that in a lot of games it doesn't really matter that much, but in this game it's kind of crucial because this is supposed to be a very accurate simulation of, of firing a handgun. Yeah. Vibin and imbibin, uh are you are you imbibing some type of alcoholic beverage, Kite? <laughs> the thirst of a tan man imbibed by the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Sounds like system of a down lyrics. It's 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 ocean man. <laughs> it's pretty much guaranteed fun to watch people not familiar with firearms try to play this game. Oh, I can imagine. As I Oh as, yeah, yeah. As I've stated many times before, I've taken a firearm safety course, but only with a rifle that was for an AR fifteen uh, upper uh, converted for nine millimeter because New York gun laws being what they are. So I've I've I, I know how to use nine millimeter ammo and I know how to use a rifle, but I don't know how to use like I haven't been properly formally trained with like pistols and definitely not revolvers. Uh, so I guess I mean obviously this game isn't going to substitute that, but it is going to be cool just to experience it. My favorite thing ever is when you pick up the tape and the subtitles don't fucking show up. <clears throat> Alright, hold up. I, I'm pretty good at spotting the blue light when I, like, turn a corner, and especially hearing the motor. See, every time I walk into this warehouse and see these lights, I knew it! I fucking knew it! There he is. Right, hold up. Don't look this way. Got it! Let's go! But it can still shoot me, right? You must listen to them to advance. Hold up. Oh wait, I don't even need to shoot it. I shot its motor, so if I just stand behind this asshole, I can just do this. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, is like there's an order of operations when it comes to shooting turrets, especially. Uh is like Um, I'm gonna get killed like, so many times with how much I've blindly run into rooms. Sorry, sorry, Spell. Just wanted to read that. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, you will get killed a lot if you do that. FYI. Once again, tomorrow never comes. 
Sorry, continue though. No, I didn't have anything to add. Oh, whoops. Sasha moment, I guess. I'm just practicing in the range right now. Wow, they seriously expect you to go a full second faster with the P226 instead of the M9? What the fuck? Uh, how yeah. many? I think the P226 has like 13 rounds in the mag, doesn't it? Yeah, and the M9 has even more rounds in the mag, <laughs> and it's also an easier trigger pull. The P226 has such a heavy trigger pull. Yeah. I, I know about that from Stalker. Because <laughs> both of those are in Stalker. P226 being a pretty late game weapon. It's honestly one of my fa it's my favorite pistol because the USP tends to be pretty uh unwieldy. And the Colt 45 is just like so memey that I can't even enjoy using it even in a video game. Uh, two world wars though. I'm being too silly with this this is one of the few games sasha where i genuinely feel like your ultra wide fov would probably benefit you quite a bit i was gonna say i really want to try like off stream playing this with my triple monitors all in surround this shit would be like oh hey the I... i'm sorry every time i see these balloons Whoa. oh yeah the balloons um as a rule <laughs> yeah if you had let that fall on you it would have hurt you um as a rule, if you see a single balloon by itself, it'll probably give two bullets usually. But if you see ones that are lined up in a row, you're supposed to shoot them at the same time. Ah, yeah. I gave that a try at one point. And it was very satisfying to do. I'm sorry. Right? Every time I see these fucking red balloons, I'm just like, Sean! Jason! <laughs> I, just, I just think of, Jason! J -j 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 Jason! I just think of 99 loose balloons. Hmm. Which band did like the like the pop punk cover of that? Not sure. This I need to find out right now. Oh, I did beat my uh, I did beat my best time just now. Okay. Oh, it was Goldfinger. Oh, it was fucking Goldfinger that did the cover. All right, that makes sense actually. Goldfinger is a good band. Classic, like, uh, bridging the gap between... Whoa! Bridging the gap oh between punk, uh, pop punk and ska like that. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting good at this. Oh, man, I'm Skinny Pete! Dude, is that Skinny Pete? Yo, I'm <clears throat> Skinny Pete! You know, nobody's redeemed the Blat Jack so far, and I'm kind of worried. No. It only applies when you're using a revolver anyway. But I've been spawning with nothing but revolvers this entire time somehow. It's like the well, game yeah. knows. The game won't let you use anything but revolvers until you rank up a couple, at least in the story. But I've unlocked if, a... you wanna, if you want to get to using the pistols right, the semi-autos right away, you should really just go to the fucking uh, compound. But I've unlocked the Glock and the M1911 already, and I spawn with them oh. even on the first level now. Well, if you're on... <clears throat> the very first level, if you're on, like, baseline, you can keep pressing and holding L. Yes, you have to take an L to reset your fucking game. But what I will say is that if you do that, it will always reset you back to level 1. So if you do that when you're, at, like, level 2, it kind of fucks you over. So you can really only do that for the first one if you're having a really hard time. Right. Mm-hmm. These compound challenges are definitely made with changing your FOV in mind. Some of the shooting range accuracy ones are literally impossible unless you lower the FOV to minimum. That's fair. <clears throat> Roxy, welcome on in. What's up? Uh, I am currently having to deal with the turret right now. And they don't even have the courtesy to ask me if I'm still there. They just kind of keep shooting. So... There we go. We'll just be dispensing the, dispensing the pleasantries this time. Got it. Cool. Blinded. I was the surprised. Gun sounds are kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, games that do that are really nice. Big ups to Killing Floor Two as well for having really solid uh, gun sound design. Except for that weird thing where they use different sounds for like semi-auto and full auto. So like, when you're firing like full auto, all the guns sound pea shooter. But if you fire semi, like they sound much more powerful. And I'm like. I guess it was probably for, like, you know, compression and audio quality reasons, but, like, did you really have to? <laughs> oh, there was a tape here. That's why I was trying to come through. Wait. Oh, 
I gotta be willing to have higher uh, DPI settings with my fucking gun if I want to be able to shoot at this level. I did it. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I was getting pretty close to uh, getting the 12 second mark with the S and W. I was getting there. I was getting there. Not quite there, but I am getting there. Oh, that's too loose. Wait, it's far too loose. Oh, hey, you're going. You're ranking up. Mm-hmm. Oh, this dude. I, there's no way to get past this motherfucker. So I'm just gonna. We've already gotten all of them, so I might as well just empty the shit right now. No, don't put that in. This I gallery do... is better in VR. Oh yeah, uh, there is a VR version of this game, by the way. You can access. It's a hidden file in the game files. That's beautiful. Uh, it's like that because the developers have gone on to say that they really don't want the VR version to overtake the main version. Honestly, really, really good on their part. It, the Wolfire games seem like really good people. Well, the thing is, they're trying to they're trying to make a simulation that you can play on your computer, not one that you play in <laughs> VR. So, like yeah. having it in VR is cool, but like that kind of eliminates the novelty of the game. Because like we've already got H three VR. We've already got Boneworks. <laughs> yeah, and Killing Floor, um, fucking uh, Incursion. Look, see, they keep yeah. putting me with the revolvers, even with everything else Although, I have unlocked. To be honest, if it's if it's as functional as I think it's going to be, I would rather play this over any other VR gun title because it probably has more feature-rich uh, content. <clears throat> to be fair, oh, finally I can put the glasses back on. Thank God. I was gonna say, to be fair, uh, hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades is pretty fucking good. <clears throat> I just love the I developer's guess. Twitter. He's he's a really cool I guy. I'll, I guess I'll find out soon. <laughs> Yeah, the developers yeah, um, are really cool. Oh, no, continue. Oh, I was going to say, a fun little announcement for anybody who watches my content. I, I may I may or may not be getting a VR headset in the next week or so. That's going to be so dope. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to get it next week, but if not, it'll be two weeks from now. Fair. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, and... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, I hid behind a cardboard box. That was a dumb mistake. Um, fucking Anton Han, the developer of... um. Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. He is a really, really cool individual. Is that firing pin pressed? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, there we go. He uh, is a very, like, vocally anti-cop and anti, like, war person. Um, and the whole reason, that's, like, part of the main reason why the only people you can actually shoot that, like, you know, when you're not on a range in that game are just, like, hot dog people. <laughs> Uh, and mm -hmm. his, 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 like, weekly, uh, outlet is posting on Twitter, uh, videos of, or, or rather screenshots or reviews or whatever from the game of people, like, begging him to put, like, human targets in the game, but he's like, no, I'm not doing that. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, because you don't need that. You don't need that in a video game. There's no point in doing that. Not yeah. unless it's, like specifically part of your game for a reason like they're bad guys or like you're trying to fucking prove a point or something and he's not trying to make any broad political statements so why play into the power fantasy of just randomly shooting people exactly <clears throat> hot dogs are also more satisfying you have shown great potential, honestly yeah but the potential is yet to be realized we have sent the message can you hear it oh <laughs> i missed and i still did better okay I'm less than a second away from getting the top time, so that's good. Gotcha! We call this the threat. We call this the bullshit. Oh, it gets so much harder to hack, like, fucking, like, higher level turrets. I get you, I get you. You bastards. <clears throat> um... Roxy is asking uh, what headset you're getting, if that is okay to um, divulge. If not, that is totally fine. Uh, Valve Index. <clears throat> based. Very, very based. Yeah. Yeah, I see one over there. Go big or go home, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's a spent cartridge. Fuck. Whoa. That motherfucker's watching. I got a fucking double feed while I was on one of my better runs pissed off okay it spotted me so it's probably racked a shell so that's not good oh it, oh guaranteed if that goes <laughs> off it is guaranteed to rack a shell shit this you dude can get it up. to run out of ammo or reload oh at i lower got levels, they can at lower levels they can only reload <clears throat> once once or twice i think 
I got an achievement for getting it to run out of ammo, uh, as it killed me with its last shot. That was, uh, that was quite the fucking bra moment. Oh god, I can imagine. <clears throat> Usually in other games, you're the one that gets the achievement for killing something with the last round in your magazine. But in this game, the turrets do. Okay, this is bad. Oh, I was so close. I was 200 fucking milliseconds, uh, milliseconds away from... Oh my god. This dude is not... I need to get closer. I'm not going to be able to get this dude from far enough. I was 200 enough. milliseconds away from getting 8 seconds. Damn. It was because I hesitated on one <laughs> of the shots, and I fucking... Uh... See me. Missed. So I had to refire. There we go. Oh, Enough. I am surprised no! that you I oh. am surprised that you did not die from that. Holy crap. <laughs> Gonna do some ninja shit. Seriously though, holy <laughs> crap. And we're not talking about Tyler Blevins. Like a ninja dressed in black with the ski mask, I take all the funds and I run down the street fast. <laughs> The hip-hop references will continue until morale improves. <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ. That beep is gonna have. I, I should set my morning alarm to that fucking turret beep and I'll wake up in a cold sweat. <laughs> <laughs> you will literally traumatize yourself. What is wrong with you? At one point, I thought about setting it to the bell that sounds whenever one of your villagers dies in Age of Empires 2. <laughs> Oh my god. And, and wake up like the fucking uh, picture of the dude in Ren and Stimpy that's in those memes now. <laughs> I love that every Monday I retweet that clip. Hold on, I'm gonna do some risky shit, baby. Gotcha! He, he got one look at me and that was all he saw. Honest. Nice work. Nice work is my middle name, baby. This one can aim up and down. Not so this much. This one can aim up and down. Mm, try what? hard. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. oh my god. I I almost fucking... What What the fuck is that? No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not that it aims up and down, Sasha. It's that it flies. Oh god. Oh god. Hold up, hold up. This is bad. This is really bad. Give me I'll, a second. I'll spare, I'll spare you a little bit of foreknowledge. It uses a taser. Fuck me. Oh, no, 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 please, 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 please don't kill me. Please, I have a wife and family. This one is being oddly stupid. Oh, oh, it got you. I was gonna no, say that I'm one not was being oddly stupid with its fucking flight pattern. Normally, I'll reload they're a lot when I'm better dead. At catching you, right? Normally, they're a lot better at catching you. <clears throat> okay, so. Oh, finally, I get a proper fucking handgun. Thank you, video game. Thank you, gracious video game. Okay, let's see here. No, no, don't fuck. God damn it. I am so bad with these. Okay, there we go. Check that. Okay, we got one chambered. Do that. First, take the fucking mag out and fill it up with rounds that I got in reserve because they never had me do that. I I see reload in the chat. And I just keep thinking of the clip from Virtua Cop where it's just reload, reload. Okay. That's cool. Letting me actually, like, just pull the slide half back. <clears throat> half back, and then, like, check it is really fucking cool. I like that. So I don't right. have to, like, fucking open it all the way to do that. You'll shoot yourself if you don't leave the chamber empty. Yeah, but that... Shooting myself is part of the fun in this game. Hey, Runo, what's up? Welcome on in. How are you doing, homie? What's up? We are, uh... We are having... We are... Uh... Showing people how to not handle a firearm correctly. <laughs> also, don't forget if it's on set to full auto or not, in case you don't want to accidentally do that. Mm-hmm. Yep, I keep forgetting that, because sometimes you'd be doing that. I don't like that. How's your day going, Runo? What's up? Okay. Oh, I see you, bitch. Okay. So we don't have one chamber, but we will now. <clears throat> you will die this round from shooting yourself. Oh, yeah, you want to bet? I'll put down, I'll put down one copy of Bad Rats on it. <clears throat> <laughs> one copy of Bad Rats. I, I like how that's a currency. I mean, remember the time I bought so many copies for you and the rest? Oh, oh. <laughs> I just... You just shot yourself. Good I job. Just, just... Okay, but I didn't die. 
I didn't die though. Did I die though? I was gonna say, remember the time I bought so many copies of Bad Rats for all of us that I ended up, like, fucking having my card put on lockdown for my bank? And I had to call them up, and they're like, uh, this one purchase of Bad Rats from oh, Steam, man, was I'm this you? Pete. Yo, was that Skinny Pete? And I had to, like, personally, Yo. I had to personally clarify that all of those purchases of Bad Rats were indeed from me and not anybody else. Oh, I hear a turret. <clears throat> Oh, this slimy bitch is up there. Okay. Can I get him from below? Yes! But, it's now staring trained right at that entryway that I'll probably come through if I go down here. So, I gotta finish him off. <clears throat> Let nobody tell you I'm not a crack shot. Uh, Runo, we're playing Receiver, which is a, um, uh, in-depth simulation of handgun handling that also has a really cool story about uh, alternate reality in it. You are aware you can carefully holster by hol by holding the holster button? I know, but I forget sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean every time I have to holster the weapon. Um, Runo, <clears throat> I have added a new redeem called Bliet Jack. And if you redeem that while I'm using a revolver, only when I'm using a revolver, I play one round of Russian roulette with myself in-game, regardless of what I am doing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. But it's a pricey one, though, because it, it could re it may result in me losing all of my progress. So, you know, is that. See, now, what I'm wondering is what you're going to do whenever you're using a semi-automatic weapon. What do you mean by that? I, I suppose, well, you can't really exactly play Russian roulette with a semi-auto. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. So I just won't, which is why the redeem is for revolvers only. I would think most people would have the sense to not. Uh, <laughs> Still not going to leave the chamber empty then. I forget. And also, I kind of like... I, I, I would kind of <laughs> like to keep the... um, uh, What is it? Vaccinating to just a little bit less. Just because I kind of like... Want to just kind of like experience the game like warts and all. And I do feel like fucking up is kind of part of the like tension of this game. I, I agree. Also, 7.591. Fuck yes. Let's Damn. go. Let's go. Woo! Nice! Wait, no, I missed. Champagne. Shit. At least it can't see me through these translucent thingies. Shit. Haha. -ha. You find yourself unable to fire at me. You find yourself in yon dungeon. You see a flat. Is that Zork? No, it's from Homestar Runner. Oh. Obvious exits are north. South and Dennis. <laughs> and then you'll say something like, get ye flask. And then it will be like, you can't get ye flask. And you'll just have to sit there and wonder <laughs> why in the world you can't get ye flask. <laughs> Who's saying that line? Is that strong bad? Strong oh, shit. bad, yeah. That dude's up there. Okay, hold up. I can I got... kind of do a strong bad, but it's hard on my voice. No, 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 no. Jesus. I didn't think Runo says I have 11k iron. Okay, you know what? Fine. God damn it, they spawned with another Glocky again, so you, you're not going to be able to test that yet. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> Holy shit. This is embarrassing. Also, I love, by the way, that you can just place a single, like, a single round into the chamber if you have the slide open. But I'm going to need that back. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's a full mag. So? Uh, let me just promptly drop the magazine on the ground like a fucking idiot. And then actually put it into the chamber. Okay, we haven't, we haven't chambered one yet. Yeah, Reno, this game is, this game is uh, quite punishing. And it is also quite in-depth. And that's why I kind of enjoy it. Is this the Dark Souls or First Person? I can't even say that with a straight face. Hi. Wait! Oh my god. I forgot to chamber the fucking round when I ran up to it to do some action movie shit. Whoops. Wait, you're not supposed to see me! There we go. And then I killed myself by holstering it too fast. <laughs> We start as we mean to go on. 
<laughs> You're like, excellent, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Bruno, <laughs> Bruno, Bruno. <laughs> we get to test it. Bruno. Redeem Blet Jack. Do it. Do it, you won't. Let's see it. In the meantime. Yeah, okay. Here's our first round. Here's our first round of Blet Jack. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, spin it. Safe. Hey. We're clear. That's our first round. And because because of how much this could fuck over my run, I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a um I'm giving it like a maximum uh uh cooldown of 5 minutes. So y'all can't like fair. have me fucking rapid fire. You can't have me do a fucking lightning round of this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dar. Yeah, you ain't getting me today, motherfucker. Just wait. I encourage liberal use of it within its five-minute cooldown. But oh my god. I had plans to have, like, a video uh, fucking play on screen whenever it was redeemed. But I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of writing a very thin line here, so I don't really know if I want to see how close I can go to the edge. So... <laughs> We're nah, just gonna I leave think it the as way it is. is. Is perfectly fine. Like, just it's an audience thing that you have to play at the be that you have to explain. Yeah. At the beginning. Yeah. Also, I kind of like the. Uh, I've always liked the the notion of having like esoteric names for your channel point redeems so that people have to look at it and be like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah. Like, I think it's more fun because it it causes you to have a little bit of like. Uh. To me, at least, whenever people do that, it causes me to have a stronger desire to fuck around with their channel point redeems. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of mine are either, like, Easter eggs or just, like, things I've said on the channel, and some of them are just, like, straight-up item descriptions from Stalker. Like the, the uh, drink one. <laughs> like that one. That's a good one. I like I, that one. I actually tried to like record my We'd own. We'd like to take a moment to announce that. <laughs> that one's still my favorite. The grenade spam one will still be my favorite because the Arby's commercial perfectly cut is like my favorite video ever. It's so good. Hold up. And <laughs> and the grenade butch one, I actually recorded like my own video to try and see if I could like make like a good clip for it, and it just didn't run. So I was like, well. Why don't I just get that one time I tried killing the den of bloodsuckers with just hand grenades and completely fucking flubbed it. And it ended up being really good. Okay. I don't hear no engines yet. I also don't hear no singing. Is it just me or do the tapes just not make sound anymore? Is that like a... No, they make sound. What are you talking about? I wasn't hearing no singing. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed that, like, well, the singing's different on, the singing's different on each level, first of all. I scared the shit out of myself with a negligent discharge. discharge. Nice. Yeah, that was very smart. <clears throat> Bruno says, if I ever stream, I'll make a Father Valerian jump scare. <laughs> Fucking Father Valerian. The, the moment of realizing he was alive all along fucked me up so bad. Um... But, but if they're different every level, this is still the first level because I died, and I know what it sounds like on the first level, and I'm just not hearing any singing at all. <clears throat> and you didn't change any settings recently? Not except for the uh, soft gun sounds. I think maybe sometimes, because <clears throat> also sometimes the subtitles for the tapes don't, like, show up. So sometimes I guess it just kind of, like, has moments. And yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Because, I mean, like, I'm starting to, like, get a hang of where the tapes usually are anyway, so, like... Oh! We got Jason over here. No! Oh! Okay. Let's see if I can get this dope-ass trick shot. Two of them at once. Yeah! One in each hand. Hootin' Balloons! Hootin' Balloons! Ah, uh, got it. No, I didn't. Okay, let's try you now. Yeah, no, sh getting closer is probably uh, a good idea. <clears throat> Man, I, I don't remember the Bloons remake looking like this. <laughs>
Jesse. Man, balloons. Blue. <laughs> Jesse. Goes nah. to white. You gotta make sure. <laughs> you gotta make sure to activate your safety before you. God damn it! I can't do it. I'm sorry. Oh, I disabled I should, it. I should like... start a bit if I can't finish it, but Je Jesse Pinkman impression just fucking kills me every time. I disabled this thing on the first shot. I'm I'm good at this. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna do Jesse. Did you install Bloons Tower Defense 6 on our family computer? Mr. White, it said safe Punjabi, no virus. Okay, now I hear the singing. I guess it was just like... No virus. Sorry, that broke me. <laughs> that made me miss my shot, you dick. <laughs> oh hesitated. god, we got another, we got another Blat Jack team. You better, Hold, you better do it. Hold on a second. Also, I love you. Could pick up the non-spent shells if you drop them. Very good game. All right, let's go. Yeah. Safe. Okay. Fun fact, Sasha, if you uh, hold the lever down and you also hold the button to pick up shells, you'll pick your shells up as you drop them. Same goes for if you are trying to get the one out of the chamber, you can hold down G and pull your slide back and you'll grab the one. You'll catch the bullet as it pops up, pops out midair. Oh! Oh, that's so fucking cool! Yeah, you, so can, I... be a fucking, you can be a fucking gunslinger. So I don't have to get down on my hands and knees and scrape them up off the floor like a fucking idiot anymore. <laughs> I mean, your words. Your words. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, that just reminds me of that time the best friends were playing the Punisher game, which I really want to play because the Punisher PS2 game is actually really fun. But they notice that there's like a bullet tumbler in his apartment, and they're like, so what that means is what you don't see is after every level, Frank is like going around through the full whole fucking level and like picking up all of his spent shells. <clears throat> fucking Frank Castle. He's got a code. <clears throat> He does! Hands and knees, ooh woo. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up, that's, oh my that's God. not what I meant! You, you horny bitch! I um, say as the horniest a... bitch in the group. <clears throat> you say that when I exist. Oh, you wanna, you wanna have a fucking battle over it? I don't know if- I, I don't know who would survive the, the Spiral Sasha horny off, but I don't think it would be anyone. No, I think, it's the thing. I think it'd be like a blast crater. <laughs> it's it's like it's like the tagline for Alien vs Predator. Whoever wins, we lose. <laughs> 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 I broke my legs again. Maybe don't do that. Shut up, because it's so easy to not break your legs. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. <laughs> I would win. Oh, you want to bet? Okay, so sometimes I shoot the middle and it like just stops moving, and sometimes I shoot the middle and it just breaks. I personally like the little hacking uh, mini game. It's it's really simple, and it's not like one that has been done too many times in other games. So it ends up just kind of being a nice little standout. <clears throat> not like the uh, elder, the many different Elder Scrolls lock picking mini games that are like in every game ever. <clears throat> I can't remember what game I've, like, seen somebody play on, like, YouTube before, but it's lockpicking minigame was literally the same as a Flash game called, like, the Missile Game, where it's, like, a first-person thing where you just guide the missile through, like, <laughs> like, like, turning fucking, like, corridors and shit. And I'm like, this lockpicking thing is, like, an ex it's a Flash game that you can play, like, right now. And that, saying that doesn't work anymore, because you can't, because you can't play Flash games anymore. <clears throat> thing thing for my beloved i will miss you <laughs> good old thing thing arena ah uh, thing thing arena hit i can't remember which thing thing arena 2 i think was my favorite that's such a thing thing and also sunny Fucking when, when we're like we were I, I can't remember who brought it up but like I was in Rocco's spot talking about like flash JRPGs and shit and I'm like you want to know a good flash JRPG look no fucking further 
Look no fucking further than Sunny and Sunny 2. <laughs> <clears throat> Reno said, "Enjoy the next minute and twenty seconds." Does that does that mean you're gonna redeem Black Check in another minute from now? I think that's what it means. Maybe I should have increased the cooldown on it, huh? <laughs> well, either that, or don't actively encourage your audience to use things. That's true. Alternatively, you have to pick, have to pick one. Alternatively, short but deadly. Oh man, that's what they be calling me at Orgy Brunch Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not All talking right. about my height. And I'm not <laughs> talking about Disney World. I thought you were going to do the same like poll that I did <laughs> about Salvador Dali right when we finished the Left Behind stream. Literally oh a week God. from... I like how like literally the last time that I streamed was also having you on. <laughs> Can't help it. Some people I just love having on all the time. Oh, yeah, I got the Matu World Wars gun. Okay. <clears throat> They've graced me with multiple magazines right at the start. Uh -huh. So, first, I don't have... a. Elevens are so cool, <laughs> even though they're impractical as fuck by today's standards. Right? I love them, so. <clears throat> I mean, there is, like, a more modernized version somebody made. I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but there is a more modernized, uh, I think it's just called, like, the M45 or some shit. This is the one. No! I <laughs> Get fucked, Runo. <clears throat> Here's how I avoid getting it redeemed every five minutes, is just because of this. Because of the fucking game giving me revolvers <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, shot the bitch in her face, took my Gucci back. And then I dropped the magazine on the floor like a dumbass. <clears throat> Alright, you hear the motors. I've played, like, fucking uh, level 2 multiple times and still never encouraged the flying, like, never encountered the flying turrets. So I guess there's just kind of like a rare unmercy that the game decides to unleash on you if you're being enough of an asshole. <clears throat> Spiral's our favorite guest. Spiral is our favorite guest. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, turret. But you forgot to redeem the Roblox subscription. God damn it, I shot myself. Oh my god. I'm so excited to come back to streaming. I've been missing it. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, me too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. See, I shoot myself when I holster it, and then if I forget, then I unholster it and shoot myself again. <laughs> I've done that before, the double the double self-shot, and you're just like, oh, come the fuck on. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I have nobody to blame but myself. It's like that fucking clip of Homer, like, looking at an IOU from himself and saying, Master, always one step ahead. <laughs> uh, my favorite my favorite clip is the one where his brain just gives up on him and I don't remember what he says but he's like that's it I'm out of here and you just hear the sounds of somebody walking down a set of stairs and opening a door yeah or the one where it says <laughs> you can stay here but I'm leaving and then it just floats out of his head <laughs> oh uh oh. A fucking, a fucking double feed. Are you kidding me with this shit? Jesus Christ. All right. Okay, we got we got a voice of the threat, but also I accidentally emptied my fucking pistol because I holstered it like unholstered it wrong. So you know what? This is a stroke of good luck. <clears throat> well, by the way, um, I will tell you, you can turn those off. They're called threat echoes in the options menu. No, I like these. They're, they're fun, for, like I said, I, I like the idea of an are-you-paying-attention test. I dropped the mag again. Oh, my gun jam, too. My cat came to say hello. Oh, hello, Kato. Hello, Kato. 
Fluffy boy. There we go. What? Meow. Fuck! You got to go. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh my fucking god. Oh my f <laughs> Holy shit, this game. I'm never gonna get past level two. Oh, oh, no revolvers. Okay, no bleat check. No bleat check. Thank God. You know what? Wait, are you on level one? <laughs> yes. Okay, new, I, I propose, I don't know what chat thinks about this, but I propose a rule. I propose that if there is a bleat jack in the queue and you're at level one, you have to keep re-rolling till you get a revolver. Are you dicking me? Wait, how do you... Re That's... You press and hold the L button. You have to take an L. I'm not doing that. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> they have they they don't redeem unless there's a revolver so that doesn't that doesn't work chat won't redeem my child won't redeem the bleat jack unless there's a revolver and that is jesus pressing the l key <laughs> this is advanced memory on another fucking level <clears throat> almost as advanced as it says Skylar taking the wires to my PlayStation. She's doing too much. I can't believe that she's ended up being like just as funny as it sounded. I feel I'm telling you, make it a bit redeem. It's so funny. I will. Okay, two full magazines. I'm honestly like fucking blessed right now. And then I got this one. We gotta play No More Room in Hell. That'll be a good one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I can't wait for the sequel. Oh, this bitch up there. I don't have a round in the chamber, do I? No, I do. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, well, you don't see me. Alright, peep this shit. No More Room in Hell is great. It is great. It's a really fucking good game. And the amount of times we've had fun with friends. It's one of the only games where me and my friends keep up the rule of um, if you die, turn off your mic. And you don't even like... We, we make sure... To not even have the pleasantry of being like, oh, I died, or I'm dead. Instead, we sometimes just have one of us go, oh, and then turn their mic off. And then oh, I'll be... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, continue. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. no, I was just agreeing with you. Like, it was really fun when we did that. Yeah, because, like, fucking one of us would just be wandering around like, Spiral? Give? Albert? Are you guys there? Yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure to get my <laughs> controls properly set up on uh, on the Aran board so that I can like uh, mute uh, in our Discord in our call or whatever or in in game and not mute stream. Uh, there are a couple changes that I wanted to make to how my Learn board setup looks. Eventually, I just want to get a stream deck because it'd be nice to have a physical apparatus. Right? But it's not it's not a necessary purchase. Is the thing. I suppose I could put one up on my throne. There we go. Did it seriously fail to? Oh my god! Did you get the Did you get the code for the door? Radio silence. <laughs> See you, Roxy. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. There was that one time a playthrough of No More Room in Hell with us got really dark because like everybody else died and it was just me and I was audibly counting down the rounds I had left in my 22 rifle. So it was me like shooting like I was completely overrun by zombies. So I'm just going, all right, seven, six, five. And then as soon as I got down to one, I put the fucking thing in my mouth and I'm like, one. And then I pulled the trigger and we ended the game. And given Albert were just like, holy fuck, that was that was really dark. And I'm like, it's no more room in hell. This is this is the game for people who like fucking pretend they aren't bitten for trauma rule. They uh <laughs> real life circumstances being you better hope that, that 22 actually kills you. Spiral's it twitch. Probably, it probably won't. Oh, you want my Twitch? Here's your uh, shout out. 
Yeah. Go follow her. She's <laughs> awesome. Mm, my YouTube uh, is on there too. If you want to see my VOD archive, if you want to watch what I do. Yeah, go watch the VOD archives. Yeah, I was gonna say that is the problem with a twenty-two. It's probably not, probably not super likely. Probably not gonna kill you, so you, you'll just be dis <laughs> like it bleeding out and like physically disabled while you're getting eaten by zombies. Congratulations. Like the song by Clipping goes, um, fucking what is it? Um, you should just stop before the damage done is irreversible but isn't terminal. Shit, goddamn it, loosen the grip. <clears throat> Come on and rock, rock. Up to the edge, then... No, it's, uh... Uh... Right to the edge, and then up to the tip, it's not. Not. Nice the ropes are tight enough to hold, but never burn. That would defeat the purpose. Nothing beneath the surface. Jesus! Oh, you got fucking waylaid. <laughs> I got firing squatted. I ran past one, and I got obliterated by another one. Me, when I immediately dropped dead after spending 15 minutes in NMO Chinatown Weapon Store organizing my inventory. <clears throat> There was that one time uh, Gib got attacked by a T-posing child zombie climbing up a wall towards him, and he just went, WHAT?! <laughs> it was like such a real reaction. Wait, no, I don't wanna... Wait, no. First, there we go. <clears throat> no rounds? No rounds? Okay, now E is to take out the magazine, right? <clears throat> I like how some mags just have like a fucking um They just have like a cap on the uh max capacity because fuck you. <clears throat> you know what's funny, Spiral, is you were talking about like airsofters who have like like more realistic cap like capacity magazines and shit. And after that, it got me thinking, so when I bought my polymer mags, I actually made sure they were, like, 30 round cap. And it honestly feels a lot nicer. <clears throat> my only issue is polymer mags are super lightweight, and it feels kind of cheap to put them in. Yeah, it is what it is. How goes the firing uh, range? Yeah, I'm pretty good so far. I'm unlocking more things. Trying out some of the different challenges. Good stuff. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I can use, like, other stuff in the range. Like, do I have to, like, unlock other weapons in the compound? Yes. By completing so, challenges. So I'm stuck with the S&W until I, until I manage to fucking pull out that 12 second, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops. Or until you get more challenges or just go to the actual firing range itself and get accuracy challenges. You just have to keep completing challenges, it doesn't really matter which. I see. I'm Sasha, the patron saint of wasting fucking ammo. <clears throat> it's okay. I'm having a hard time doing this drone attack one, but I'm glad that I'm doing it because it's really helping me learn how to fucking fight drones. <laughs> Those are the flying ones, right? Yep. God damn it. Hate those things. Yeah. I think it ah. I got it. I did. I got the yeah, I did. It. I'm good at it. I'm good at the game. Oh. You still want to see who the <laughs> lootest is? Uh, on stream, probably me. Oh, you thought. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil previews of my channel. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. What? Oh my god. Did you seriously shoot yourself <laughs> twice? No, I broke my legs. And then the turret still had a round racked and fired it at me. And then I broke my legs. Oh, we got a revolver. Wait, no, 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 oh, wait, man, no. I'm Skinny I... Pete. Yo, is that Skinny Pete? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Now, now we're starting to get into like proper VTuber chaos. Okay, we got a game of blat check, everybody. Let's go. Hold up. <clears throat> Hold the fuck up. All right. Safe. Get fucked, Runo. 
I mean, to be fair, <clears throat> the audience has been getting a lot of satisfaction already because and Shoid Freud already because you've been shooting yourself repeatedly. <laughs> I've been shooting myself, but I don't even have to play Russian roulette to do it. <laughs> yeah, you've been committing so many acts of negligent discharge that it doesn't even matter. Jesus Christ. I all I, I I've I'm I'm glad I've been getting better at like curving <clears throat> my out of pocket shit because I've almost made references to real life incidents of of that and, and I was like wait a minute maybe maybe not maybe don't do that. It's not really the vibe that your channel's going for. No, it used to be. But we all grow. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> sure oh do. Jesus. Oh this motherfucker's got a sights train. Well, I did it again. Sure. Oh. <clears throat> hey, look oh, at that. Don't this forget that shooting through walls is a thing, too. That is true. That is oh, true. Man, I'm Skinny Pete. Yo, is that Skinny Pete? Welcome back, Drift. Yo, I'm Skinny Pete. <clears throat> hey, Drift. Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. Me when I'm Skinny Pete. Here we go. You have <clears throat> I hear Kato. Was that Skinny Pete? No way. Right? No way. Skinny Pete in my stream? Skinny Pete? No way. <clears throat> yeah, you do hear my Kato. He's in the background. I think that he probably wants food. I thought that we fed him earlier, but I don't know. Maybe he's hungry again. He's weird. He likes to eat in very small quantities. I like that one time, uh, one of the cassettes was in a display case here, and I actually had to break it. Oh, for fuck's sake, fucking double feed. I'm tired of the double feeds. What exactly is a double feed, if I may ask? So, a double feed is when, uh... <laughs> is when, uh, you go to shoot, and the casing actually, like, gets stuck in the barrel. If I remember right, let me, let me look it up, because I want to make sure... I don't oh, give you the wrong information. Ah, uh, me when it, me when I fucking jam. Where is it? For a second, I thought you were humming the can can. If your gun gets jammed so badly that you can't even pull the trigger or move the slide into battery, you might have a double feed. This happens when the extractor fails to remove the spent cartridge from the chamber at all, and the next round is jammed up against it. Yeah, so that's what, that's what I was... That's what I thought. So yeah, it doesn't remove the spent cartridge, and then the next round gets stuck in front of it so that you have both in there. It's definitely one of the most annoying ones to clear. <clears throat> it's a shotgun. Yeah! There we go. I saw Leon the Professional. No, I didn't, but I do want to watch it. <clears throat> That's a good fucking movie. We get some love and chat for Leon the Professional! <laughs> <laughs> Unlike this, uh... The set of circumstances here with this, uh, other professional. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it took me, like, ten seconds to realize you were roasting me, you asshat. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, when Runo heard uh, Topaz, they said, Hey, hey, gatito. <laughs> hey, hey, gatito. Gatitos bonitos. Yeah, he is a very good cat. Come here. I'm gonna flip you. I'm gonna flip my cat. I flipped him. Oh, no. How could you? Because he likes it. He likes being held like a fucking baby. Right? Don't we all? Yeah. He grabs my he grabs my hand with both of his paws and he starts licking me. <laughs> the clubs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One of my oh, friends. The assholes who owned him before took out his front claws. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, oh. he's got his back ones though. That's good. Yeah, my one of my friends' cats would lie down on the floor, and I would just like not actually touch him with my like feet, but like put my feet pretty close to his tummy, and then he would like grab with like all of his like fucking paws, and then like start like kicking with his back feet. And I'm like, if you don't want them here, why are you grabbing it, you asshole? 
No, that's because he <laughs> likes you. That's because he likes you, and he he wants to do that. That's.
man, I'm Skinny Pete. Hey, what's up? We are back. We took a quick break. I got sure. some more water. <clears throat> uh, self fed a cat. And I am ready to dive back into more handgun masochism. Also, Drift said, <laughs> Yo, is that Skinny Pete? That is Skinny Pete. Yo, oh, I'm Skinny Pete. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. Alright. Oh my god, this is where I was. <clears throat> Holy fuck. Oh my god, you bitch. Fucking moving and shit. There we go. 
<clears throat> fucking moving like you're some kind of oh creature. my god bruno come on man you gotta give me a break here you gotta give me some, you gotta give me some fucking reprieve safe get fucked <clears throat> God, I'm gonna have so much egg on my face when that doesn't end up working. <gasps> I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucking God. <clears throat> Holy shit. This is... This is masochism of the utmost... The utmost... Okay. First off... Okay. I don't want no shit chambered. Okay, I don't have a magazine, but now I do. <clears throat> I mean, I could, I could, um, fucking just not chamber it, but also, the Colt has an actual safety, unlike a certain Austrian handgun made for clowns. Clowns like Spiral and I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I, I like, as, as silly as the Glock is to operate in this fucking... <laughs> In this fucking game i do like the gun conceptually oh me too it's 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 there's a reason it's like it's just a really aesthetically pleasing like gun it's cool i like it all right let's see if i can get these two to line up perfectly two at once i'll take it yeah one in each hand <laughs> <laughs> What if you could uh, akimbo some weapons in this game? Wouldn't that be fun? It would probably break the balance. Oh, now I can tell the game's being an asshole because it's spawning them under the turrets. It does that when it hates me. It's all of them. What? Okay, I'm in a sticky fucking situation here. Okay, I am slowly learning the ropes of proper firearm safety, and I may yet even be able to handle a gun without shooting myself. <laughs> nice, look at that. That was oh. fucking slick, Sasha. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a good fucking shot. I'll take that. Uh huh. And I didn't even shoot myself as a celebration. What you'll the best shots you'll find are the ones where you got lucky and you angled it just right so that you took out multiple parts of the robot at once. Right? It seems yeah. to have been what happened here. You'll I'll feel great when you start plinking drones out of the sky with no effort. Oh, I can imagine. <clears throat> That's why I like having the Colt in this game actually, uh, is because the forty five has just a little bit more like straight up stopping power, so it kinda throws around the bots a little bit more. It really does. <clears throat> You're a bot that loves that getting too. thrown around, don't you? <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, ignoring that. Um, so, no! Yeah, like... <laughs> you did that! You did that to me! I did! I did nothing! I have no idea what you're talking Spiral about. Spiral got so fucking blushy, she threw me over a balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is this is this This is the worst it's ever gonna be. Oh they're all falling out. They're all falling out. Oh, I love that you have a message in place that says that skinny P. What is the skinny P? I didn't even notice oh, that. First. No, I don't. It's just because we were in BRB mode and I saw oh, it. Oh you so were in BRB. I just you I should, just typed you it. You should have a message that's Hold up, wait, I can edit this live. Give me a second. Hold up. You should get like a Sasha <laughs> PP emote and then have that. <clears throat> oh like, my that's god. Skitty P. Oh my fucking god. Hold up. Uh chat message. Add. Send as streamer. Um announce. Yo, is that skinny Pete? Hold up. Is that the right uh is that the right thing? Is that the announce one? Give me a second here. This is this is gonna be a little bit silly. Um, uh, should be in timers. Post. 
Okay, no, it's it's backslash announce. Okay, so Twitch channel points, Skinny Pete, black backslash announce. That's Skinny Pete. All right, now let's try it. Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete. Oh. Yeah, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> so now every time Skinny That's Pete is Skinny redeemed, Pete. oh, you're gonna do an announcement every time. It's gonna announce that it's Skinny Pete. I like the idea of you just in a megaphone going, "What Skinny Pete?" <laughs> Whoa! Yo, but, I'm Skinny Pete. Now what I need to do to complete the cycle is make a mod for Stalker Shadow Chernobyl <laughs> for you. Like I'm gonna make a fucking. Oh fuck! Thank you for the host, Cinco. Welcome on in. How are you hey, doing Cinco. today? Hey Cinco, there's a new redeem you should check out while you're here. It's called oh, Bliat Jack. Pete. Yo, was that Skinny Pete? This redeem called Bliat Jack, Cinco. You should check it out. But now I'm gonna make like a homebrew mod for Shadow Chernobyl that adds all sorts of stupid shit. And and right in the beginning, there's a fucking um uh military cordon like checkpoint right near the rookie uh camp and the the guy on the military uh fucking megaphone is constantly saying shit like oh i'm out of booze today what a shit day if any of you bastards cross me i'm putting one between your eyes and then he just goes <laughs> the zone is a mortal danger do not do not do not jeopardize your life and he just goes what a shit Day. But I'm gonna add oh, one man, so we're just... Skinny Pete. Yo, is that Skinny P? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking okay, I got I got it. I got it. Don't worry, okay, don't good. worry, Cinco. I got it. Cinco wasn't able to redeem it because um because the timer was up, but now it's not up anymore. So uh Cinco, I have a new redeem for this stream only called Bliat Jack, where if you redeem it every five minutes I have to play Russian roulette once. Safe! Hey, let's go. But I'm gonna add a mod to Shadow Chernobyl where the cord and megaphone sometimes just goes, "Yo, is that Skinny Pete?" But in Russian. <laughs> hey, it's the Skinny Pete. Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete. <laughs> I should have it said in Russian. It's the Skinny Pete. Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's not even gonna use like the oh, Russian God. translation for Skinny either. Like, like, it implies that Skinny is his name. Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete! Oh my god, I'm good. Am I. Are you fucking kids gonna make me have to put a timer on Skinny Pete? Don't make me put a timer no. on Skinny Pete! It's really funny. Don't make me take away your Skinny Pete privileges. <laughs> Don't. No, no, mama. Don't take away our skinny Pete privileges. She took the wires to my skinny Pete. She's doing, She's too, doing much. too much. No, skinny little, Pete. No, little German. God damn it, I can't do it. Okay, hold up. I feel like oh, I man, feel like I'm I need Pete. to I need to do oh, a certain man, I'm something. Stop redeeming Skinny Pete! No, okay. Man, I'm skinny Pete. <laughs> Holy fuck! Don't be... Okay, look, real quick, I'm gonna bring some of y'all up to speed real quick, and I'm gonna add a media source. I'm gonna show y'all the fucking Breaking Bad video on stream. So give me a second here. <laughs> oh yeah, this will be the free one. This will be the free one. Here's your. This will be the free the free one before I add a bit redeem. Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. All right, is it in my video channel folder? Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna have to turn the fucking uh, audio down. Actually, hold up. <laughs> Here, I have to turn it down to negative twelve decibels. So this is a video. This is a video that I made over the weekend, and I hope y'all enjoy it. This is my voice acting at work. Yo, Mr. White, Very she took the rise to my PlayStation. Uh, she's doing too much. I didn't wipe my butt. You just pooped and got up? <laughs> there you go. Excellent. <laughs> Oh god, Skinny Pete took my glasses. Okay. This is this is a really fun stream. I'm having a good time here.
I'm even glad. though I keep I'm dying, glad. even though I keep dying like 50 <laughs> fucking times. Guitar Vine Boom really sells it. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I should have added like a generic trap beat over like the original one because my plan was to have as soon as the first Vine Boom plays and it shows Walter's face, it was going to be the Breaking Bad theme. And then when it shows... When it shows fucking Jesse's face, it was gonna be the Better Call Saul theme, but both of them would like overlap each other and make it impossible to hear anything. But I was like, wait, I need like a backing track over like the regular speech, so I just said, okay, I'll pu fucking put this, the Better Call Saul music at the end, and then it just like keeps playing a vine boom on every, at the end of every measure. <laughs> There's a science to making memes. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank you. I was I was really happy with how it came out, but as I was making it, I was showing it to Patch, and they were just like, I think their words were like, "Oh my God, this is awful. This is an abomination." Post it. <laughs> it's great. I'm so proud of it. There's absolutely a science to it. There really is. I like how the only way to interact with arcade machines is to break them, by the way. We use tapes as part of this technique. Yes, no other method of recourse. <laughs> and look, down there is a fucking um, overgrowth machine somewhere. I should play Lugaru on stream. Surprisingly well put together, even though there's no voice acting. I, it's, I, I think you'd like it a lot. <clears throat> overgrowth or Lugaru? Lugaru. Both, honestly. Because I played Lugaru back in the day, Lugaru back in the day, like in middle school. Um, it was one of the games that a lot of us in middle school would like pass around. Because like first it was Call of Duty 4, then it was Plants vs. Zombies, then Peggle, um, then it was Bioshock, uh, Lugaru as well. <clears throat> Stuff like that. Zero out of ten game, I can't reach any of the coins. Jesse, we need to reach we need to redeem the black check. Jesse, where are the irons? I trade <laughs> Jesse, we need to redeem the blackjack checks. Where are the irons? I traded them for skinny peats, Mr. White. Oh my <laughs> god, you fucking asshole. I hate you. I hate you so much, Bruno. <laughs> safe! I like how he keeps saying safe like I'm a fucking umpire every time. <laughs> Runo says no okay top 10 lies told by Runo the part where they said last one fuck you I know you're lying to me you know why because I'm an expert at lying because I got Rocco to think that I actually met Jerry Seinfeld wait where is it It's at its strongest, like, right here. Oh, oh. man, I'm Skinny Pete! Yo, was that Skinny Pete? <laughs> Rudo's a mod, so they could just announce that it's Skinny Pete, too. Oh my god. This is... This has gone off the rails so fucking bad. Remember when this is just a stream about playing a gun game? <laughs> It was never just about the gun game. No. It's about the Mets, baby. Love the Mets. It's about the go Mets, Mets, baby. All about the Mets. Love the Mets. Let's go, Mets. It's all about the Mets. No treble. I'm sorry. No. Uh -oh. Shoot yourself in the leg. Hold up. Fine. Skinny Pete lore stream? Also, Spiral, you probably thought I wasn't actually going to do it, but I'm... No, I didn't think you would because that seemed kind of stupid. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Stacy... Sp Wait, no, Stacy isn't like, doesn't have the same connotations as Chad, does it? Uh, it, it can. It depends on how hard you believe in that culture. Well, I don't believe in it at all because I like to fuck. So, question answer. Valid, valid. <laughs> Oh, I see you, bitch. Oh! Knock that bitch on her ass. 
<laughs> Chad at something something Stacy's mom. God, okay. Y'all haven't suffered until you've worked for like a wedding like band that started play Trophy? What is this? What is this device? Sparrow, what is this? It's a trophy. You earned it. Congratulations. Oh wow. Good job. I'm good a job. I'm a I'm a special good girl. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. If I don't if I don't survive, tell my wife hello. <clears throat> Your neutralness, it's a beige alert. <laughs> I love those guys. Ooh. I have no strong feelings on the matter one way or the other. And everyone just cheers. <laughs> oh, I see you, bitch. Gotcha! It took a couple of shots, but I did it. Yeah, I did it! <clears throat> I noticed some turrets are kind of... Oh, I... you can take out the oh, legs! Wait, I'm Skinny Pete. Is that Skinny Pete? I see if you overdo the hacking, they just instantly alert to you. That's cool. Okay, so you can take out the legs of the turret. <laughs> There's a lot of these dudes out here. They're they're like they're really trying to get me. The, the 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 bump into the glass sound effect never gets old for me either. All right, you little shit. Say your fucking prayers. Cause we always say grace before dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Stamper. I'm stealing your bits, too. You actual not good person. I'm actually- I actually have so much fucking ammo that I can't pick up the ammo I'm getting because I'm actually doing really good now and not being a dumbass. Huzzah! You are good at the game. Oh, god damn it, Runo. Come on, man. You can't. Oh, man. I'm Skinny Pete. Is that Skinny Pete? Oh, my god. Okay, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that me full of holes? Fuck you. All right, well. Runa redeemed. Okay, this this is the one time I will allow this rule. It's because Runa redeemed a Bliat Jack right before I died. So, see ya. I mean, you can do that too, I suppose. <clears throat> or you could just, you know, hold L and take an L. No. <laughs> That's not honorable. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Fine, I'll hold L. <clears throat> oh my god, you bitch, you keep giving ah, me pistols. Sasha took the L, Sasha took the L, ha ha, hee hee, hoo hoo, ha ha. I'll get you back for this. Yeah? Ow, you and what army? I ain't no forgiver forgetter. Alright, well. And what, you and what army? I got like 700 of me. Alright, here's the fucking redeem. Here's, here's the interesting thing though. Do I snap it shut as soon as I spin it, or do like I wait for it to stop spinning, or where where do I where what how does that work? You have to do it before <laughs> it stops spinning because otherwise you know where it lands. That's true. Safe. We're clear. This one has two black fucking chambers. What an asshole. I really want the tapes to be in the display case again. Fuck you and your crying Isaac emotes. I get to live another day. I get, I should be happy. You should be happy for me. You know what? I propose as a rule what? that block chambers don't count, so if you nail a block chamber, you have to respin. I don't hate this rule. I don't hate this rule. I think that could be clever. 
At any rate, we'll have to wait another five minutes to try it. Oh, I can put the glasses back on. Thank God. Ah! Well, you certainly ate it. <clears throat> that vaulting mechanic is so fucking slippery. It's good, though. It's a really good one, actually. Oh, my God. I don't know. I still think the one in Thief is my favorite. <clears throat> Thief 2, the Metal Age stream when, Sasha? When I feel like it. <clears throat> Whatever you stop fucking talking about it. <laughs> you fuck. Yo, who fuck took you. all the gold in Ramirez's palace? It was polyamorous Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, Runo. Of course, of course. Thank you, Spiral. Oh, I it see. Polyam it was polyamorous Tony. That rat fuck. I want his wife dead. I want his wife dead. I want his wife dead. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> seriously like one of my favorite things I've ever seen. It's a good so bit. Good. I, so good. I couldn't stop laughing at the fact that Post was like, when Post was talking about the whole like, there's no, there's only one race, the human race, what about NASCAR? I was like, oh, NASCAR Allo uses that for his fucking uh, beat watermarks. And Post's like, I know the person who made that vine though. And I'm like, can you tell them that they, that they're, that NASCAR Allo uses them as a watermark? <laughs> Cinco says it made me giggle way harder than it should have. Yeah, very yeah, good. Cinco, the uh, the actual video is really really funny. Making people giggle appears to at least be a latent <laughs> ability of mine, I suppose. All right. I, th I know you meant to say latent, but I thought you said Latin <laughs> ability for a second. And I Latin? was like, hold up, what? Oh yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't know anything about Latin. I'm afraid, even despite taking like three years worth of courses on it <laughs> listen you try fucking taking it okay that 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 fucking latin is where like fucking happy students go to die oh i dropped the magazine again like a dumbass and then i took it out and then i put it in okay hey, there we go and then i dropped it again oh my god okay <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Latin Yeah, Latin abilities, such as uh, saying things in an increasingly overly complex way, um, accidentally saying I fought with somebody, and making everybody in the room think that you picked somebody up and swung them around as a weapon. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna start... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus. That That's so silly. This is bad. Hey, look, I got—I jammed it. Oh, good shit. Damn, he angry. Yeah, Latin's just like, if you're a big, big nerd, you can, you can, you know, learn Latin, but otherwise there's no practical purpose in learning it. There just isn't. I, I can't get it to fucking... I keep fucking this up. Hold up, put the fucking thing away. Do you mind... Okay, there we go. It only took me like five tries. There we go. <clears throat> Spanish is the closest I get to Latin, but I know Latin is a whole other ball game. Yeah, no, it's horrible. There's a reason it's fucking dead. You see, Spiral, I am a big nerd. Oh, Spiral Cinco's a nerd. Me giving Cinco swirlies for knowing Latin. Okay, okay. We start as we mean to go on, or we go on as we mean to finish. We've reached the halfway point, and I have not progressed past the second level. So Cinco is a nerd. Hey! 
Hey, we got a we got a nerd over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I see you, you little shit. <laughs> we got shit. a fucking nerd over here. What are you some kind of What are you some kind of Latin major? What are you going to double major in Latin and like ancient Roman history or something? What are you trying to have a well-rounded career? <laughs> <clears throat> No, that's the thing, is they tell you it's good for your career, but, like, I've taken Latin, and it it, it, it doesn't mean shit. Nobody cares. Yeah, most people don't care. <laughs> it's fucked up that they did this to me. I could have been taking a Latin... I could have been taking French, and I could have been serenading you in, in the dulcet tones. And, and instead... Instead, I learned how to fucking... All I learned about was fucking Roman history. Which, which place... God damn it, it happened again on the exact same ledge. Instead, all I yeah. did was learn about Roman history, and the only people who know about Roman history are like white supremacists now. <laughs> or rather, the only people who care about it. Well, that and Caesar's Legion. I was gonna say, and people who like to cosplay as Caesar's Legion. Also known as white supremacists. <clears throat> Thinker says I didn't even know I don't even know Latin LMAO. I knew a little bit by proxy of being in choir for four years. Ah, that's how they get you. That's that's the gateway language. Is qu is choir. <laughs> First they start with the with the Gregorian chants, Ooh. and they start with the choirs, and they lead it all the way up to the high level tech. I got all three balloons in one shot. Let's go, baby. This is balloons. It's balloons after all. <laughs> Mr. White, it's safe Punjabi, no virus. I don't know why Breaking Bad memes are just suddenly funny to now. I, I still think my favorite one is the one with like the 3D render of Saul with the Better Call Saul music. And it just says, <laughs> World War II veterans watching the next generation make video games about the worst fucking day of their life. <clears throat> Oh my god. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> that was bad. As soon as the fucking thing clicked, there was there was no point in trying to resist. I knew my fate was sealed. And it was on the it was the time that I got the three balloons too. What's that red flashing? Oh, it's just an aerial, okay. <laughs> hey, have y'all seen Machine Gun Kelly's cover of Aerials by System of a Down? If you have, I'm sorry. If you haven't, don't watch it. <laughs> that is all. Yay. I'm surprisingly good at uh, reloading this thing. I cleared the two-star <laughs> score. Yeah, you'll get really good at it over time. Especially if you like to use them in the co in the fucking uh, compound and practice oh. with them. Oh, I don't, because these sites are doo-doo ass. <laughs> hey, fair, <laughs> fair and valid. Yeah, this is a surprisingly good game that I'm just like... I, I wanted to try it for the longest time, but I was like... I don't know, it's, it seems like a steep price for the simplicity of it. But now I know this is a shockingly intricate game. Oh, yeah, it's not as simple as you'd think. You have realized... Most things never are. Whoa! Holy shit. Come on, look the other way, dickhead. <laughs> Who does the voicing for these tapes? They sound familiar. Uh, I think it's just one of the developers. Okay. Because I could have sworn I've heard the voice. You know, no, I need to know. Deagle, hooray! Leo Wiggins. Uh, known for Blair Witch 2 2019. His, his profile picture on IMD, IMDB looks like those memes with the fade haircut. <clears throat> he was in oh AFK Arena. Guns are always loaded. 
he was in a couple of other properties. Um, Charger Girl Juden Chan, which is an anime uh, that I don't know. He, he's in a bunch of anime <clears throat> and anime games. Oh, he's in the Dread X collection. Huh. Also in a video game from 2019 called Desolate, which I've heard good things about. Wow. Me, me, Sasha, me take cover behind cardboard boxes from gunfire. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoops. Okay. This is the one, I promise. This is gonna be the one, fellas. I did the uh-oh thing again where I, I stopped its motor, pointed at me. <clears throat> and then almost killed myself. Okay. Wait. Maybe there's a way I can finagle this. There we go. <clears throat> I spent like 50 shells, but I still took care of it. No half measures. <clears throat> How many shells I got left? What's this? Who dares message me? Bunch of spam. Oh shit, Sneb is live! <laughs> yeah, Sneb is live. Uh, we should rate them. When that happens. Yeah, that would be a very good idea. Sneb is the most based. She's a very cool creature. <clears throat> yeah, we, we, we stand Robert Cat. <clears throat> Robert Cat. Yeah. So Bob is short for. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm I'm a big I'm a big Sneb fan. I'm a big uh I'm a big uh Snebniac, if you will. <clears throat> my favorite thing ever is every time I run up on Sneb streams, my chat message is just Snebin. All right, pick up this dude's mixtape. <clears throat> <laughs> Do you want this dude's mixtape? It happened again, Spiral. But I'm smarter than that. Smarter than the average battle maid. Mm-hmm. There's like maybe five of us. <clears throat> We're quite a dying breed these days. So what engine is this in Unity? Uh, yeah, it's a Unity game as far as I'm aware. Unity good engine, except for what Unity is doing now. By that, I mean merging with the malware company. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Who are they merging with? Uh, I can't remember what they're, what they're actually, like, they're, like, called, like, Iron something. Whoa. Gotcha, you little shit. <clears throat> I am murking these turrets. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, we're two tapes down. Alright, hold up. Okay, so there's a box. There's a box on the midsection, and if you fucking hit that, <clears throat> you disable them permanently without even having to hack them. Okay. So I'm getting there. 
Gotcha. Whoa. Check. More like twenty. In a typical gunfight, more shots missed than hit, but all bullets end up somewhere. I can't tell if I got hit or not. I don't think so. All right, I'm starting to get a hang of it. Are there like other environments in this in the game, though? <clears throat> uh, the environments largely repeat based on procedurally ordered tiles, so you'll see a lot of the same environments in this game largely. But they will repeat in interesting patterns if you play long enough. Okay. Yeah, the map generation is much more interesting this go around. I really liked how the map looked in the old one because it was like <clears throat> a game made for a game jam, so it had this kind of like geometric kind of like almost like a digitized look to it. But uh, this game's got some very interesting environment design. Yeah. In my opinion, anyway. Alright, four tapes down. Gotta be careful. Okay, one shot. <laughs> Boom! I started like, see what's funny is when I was watching you with the fucking uh, Smith and Wesson at the range, <clears throat> seeing like the whole thing where sometimes hitting the um, the like knock the rounds out of the cylinder button wasn't getting them all on the first try. Because mm -hmm. of that, even from the outset of me first wielding this thing in game, I just picked up the muscle memory of tapping it twice just to be sure. <clears throat> like right off the bat. Oh my god, I'm at <laughs> a failure to feed right after a fucking. Oh my god. Hey, Vex, what's up? Welcome on in. How are you doing tonight? Hello, hello, hello. There we go. <clears throat> Not Sasha accidentally turning off the a turret's motor while it's pointed at her only entryway. Again. <clears throat> How are you doing today, Vex? What's going on? We're playing receiver. It's a cool gun game, and I've, uh, I've, um, you know what? I was gonna say, Vex, we haven't gotten a certain type of redeem in a while that I added specifically for tonight's stream. Would you like to see what the Bliet Jack redeem is? I'm sure you would. Give it a try. Because <clears throat> I got the last tape right here, so you might as well get to see it before I do. Wait, I've been hit, haven't I? Yeah, so this could end you. This could end me. All right, let's see This is it. a big one, folks. Come on. This is a big one. Okay, so, Vex, uh, this the Bliet Jack Redeem is me playing one round of Russian Roulette with myself and dropping everything what I'm, everything I'm doing and doing it right now. So, give me a sec. Safe! Okay. <clears throat> Lucky you. Kill those. Don't feel pain. Don't feel fear. That could have been... Okay, if I got to the end of the first segment... And I actually got killed by the Bliatchak Redeem, I would have fucking thrown my keyboard across the room and y'all would have heard that. <laughs> okay, ranking up to a sleep. We did it, fellas. We're on to the next level. Let's see if I can get through this without dying. Yeah, it is hilarious. It's why I added it. it was because I was like, see, receiver's a fun game, but it doesn't have enough <laughs> trauma. So I, I need some I need a force multiplier. Oh for this God. for this shit so i'm like well what if because last night when i first demoed this game i was like wait can i theoretically 
play Russian Roulette, and I could. And I said, okay, this game passes the vibe check for being a really good game in that regard. So I'm gonna add a fucking redeem where people can spend a thousand channel points to see if I can do it. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's one of those 360 ones. What? Oh, you bastards, you gave me an empty magazine. Fine. They'll do that a lot. Nice. Yeah, it's a cool game. It's also really fucking hard. I don't trust it yet. There we go. God damn it! God damn it! I fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> that... Holy... Shh. Eep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ashley is fucking laughing at me right now, I think. Wherever she uh, is. Maybe. Wherever she is. <laughs> oh my god. That was embarrassing. Like, I got, like, literally not 30 seconds in. Well, it's a it's a good thing I don't own any real I don't own any real pistols then. Jesus Christ, I don't own any real firearms actually. Uh, as of a week from now, I will. Based as fuck. Beck mm -hmm. says, and I'm I'm pretty good. About to challenge some cheap za as soon as it cools down enough where it won't turn my tongue to ash. <coughs> za. Valid. Zaza, when you go outside. Okay, I just neg I just negligent discharged into my fucking kneecap with a desert eagle. So nice. That's that's a hell of a gun to shoot yourself with. Uh, fucking, that's instant death, is what that is. Fucking band of brothers yourself. Mm -hmm. How about you two? Well, I had a pretty uh, long ass day at work, but uh, here I am right now having fun with one of my best friends, and we're playing a really mm. solid game. And Spiral, how was your day? Uh, overall, it's been pretty good. Um, I am currently on day three of a four-day weekend, so I'm just trying to enjoy it, relax a little bit, get stuff done around here, that sort of thing. I'm about to start my five-day tomorrow, so that's good. Nice. Very one of the, nice, very nice. One of the perks of having a job where they just don't know how to fucking allocate hours to people correctly. <clears throat> so they're just like, hey, we hired too many people. Uh, you're fucking out until next weekend. See ya. <clears throat> Oh my god. He didn't, like, say it like that. He was like, listen, I tried my best to give you more hours. I'm like, I'm not complaining. I'm like... I'm like fucking... At, like... A precipice mentally right now. So I, I can use a break. <laughs> wow. What a, what a tape. Oh, you little shit, you're down there. I'm not gonna go down there, though. Whoa, I am gonna go here, though. This dude's fast. But I'm faster. Cinco says cheap Za gang. Does that mean what I think it is? Are y'all talking about Zaza? We're talking about pizza. Oh! Oh! Oops. I started, yeah. think, I started thinking about that picture of, like, a dinosaur. It says, when you go outside and smell that Zaza. Oh, my God. <clears throat> That's horrible. Or the guy walking into the uh, pawn, uh, pawn Stars shop, and it just says Za Expert. Or Zaza Expert. I, I would have some pizza, but I actually got some Bergs before <clears throat> I came on stream today. Very nice. Like, as I was closing up shop at work today, I'm on the phone with a burger shop, like, literally within walking distance. Like, hey, can I place an order for, like, two single patties, uh, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, onions? <clears throat> and I walked in. It was, like, 14 bucks, but I had it 20. And I was like, well, there's Swamp tonight. Take a $5 tip. Oh, I see. I see how it is.
The sound effects for actually breaking parts off the turrets are really good. Like, you can tell, you can tell when it fucking misses because of the big clang and shit. And you can tell when it actually hits because of the breaking glass sound effect. <clears throat> Heck, Vex says, oof, my job is too cheap to hire more help, so having to do double work while getting around store renovations. Oh, that's fucked. I'm sorry, yo. That's an unfortunate scenario. Nico says, Zaza, Sasha, I've never partaken in a substance in my life. Same here. <clears throat> Before my friend moved down to South Carolina, he brought me out to a, uh, we, we actually, like, spent a night, like, not, like, a whole night, but, like, for a couple of hours, like, you know, in, like, a, a 2015 summer night, we went down to the fucking, um, <clears throat> um, or no, I think it was, like, after he'd already left. Or maybe it was, I can't remember. But we went down to the uh, playground at our elementary school that we went to, like, at midnight. And we just hung out on the fucking, like, you know, playground. And he he, he was fucking on the Zaza. But I, I told him that I wasn't really into that. Uh, and it was a good thing I said no, because also he was doing out of, out of an aluminum foil pipe, and you don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that's what that means, but okay. <laughs> I think that's what that means, anyway. But yeah, so it was an aluminum foil pipe, and I even told him, like, dude, you're not supposed to do that, like... And he's, he's like, I don't care, and I'm like, you will, you fucking idiot, stop doing that. And eventually he stopped, because he had upgraded to a glass bowl by the time I hung out with him again, like, the next year by driving down to his spot. In which we spent every single night hitting up Waffle House at 1am. Speaking of dubious uh, fucking food establishments, fucking last night I was in a call with Noel, and I think we got into the topic of Rainforest Lounge or whatever, or Rainforest Cafe, and I'm like, I was like, I don't know, man, I'm kind of like a little bit like cagey about Rainforest Cafe, because my homie Dave, right, he went to a Rainforest Cafe and like a fight broke out over some menial shit, and he ended up getting fucking kicked in the back so hard that like he lost the use of one of his kidneys, and everyone in the call Jesus. was like, holy shit! Seriously? And I'm like, no, I made that up. It's a pretty believable story. Honest, of course it's believable. I'm so used I'm so I'm so used to you gaslighting me that at this point I just don't even really care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I get fooled, I just assume that you're being a shithead no matter what. <laughs> Cause one of these days I'm gonna tell a story that's like real and just as grim, and you're gonna be like, you're making that up, and I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not, I swear! I swear on me, mom. This motherfucker's really resilient. There we go, holy shit, finally. Zeko says I'm used to it and I still fall for it. Because I, I start getting a little bit more creative with it. It's not just like, like, okay, like, making up silly shit like that is an art. Because it's all about being, like, specific enough to be believable. Beck says I've, she's got me a few times with the stories. You know it, motherfucker. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's really hard to describe. Like, it's just like, it, you gotta be, like, specific enough to be believable. And you gotta, like, tell it with the utmost confidence. You gotta tell it like you believe it. You're, you're channeling that, that Zack Hadel energy, honestly. Exactly! I, I mostly learned it just from watching Oni plays enough times to just know that you could, like, just say complete bullshit and somebody will think you're telling the truth. That's the whole trick, is to believe your own story. Hmm. Oh, you little shit. Bastard! <clears throat> this is a nightmare. I might I might have myself a root beer float on stream just, just for the trouble. <laughs> root beer floats are baller. My mom got these big glass beer steins with like a uh, fucking like fluted um out like edges on the bottom, and they are so fucking good. Sinko says, I can't I believe you got your beers. gaslight education from Odie Plays. It's genuinely incredible. Well, also, as I stated in a call with a couple of other friends in this community, is uh being able to... Oh, you could play with the Newton beads! Oh, instant 10 out of 10. Right. I was going to say, it was also a survival tactic of being able to quickly fabricate, um, like, false stories and aspects of myself to not be ridiculed. So, you know, 
uh, obviously something that a lot of people in this community can probably relate to in some extent. Oh, thank God this thing wasn't actually chambered with anything, because I could have just shot myself right here and now. <clears throat> I literally uh, fucking holstered mine at the same time as you, and so when I heard that click, it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, for those of you who don't know in chat, I'm currently also playing Receiver 2. I'm just playing uh, the shooting range shit in the background, so that way I'm not <clears throat> detracting from the conversation. We're both uh, experts at receiving. God damn it! I will say I have more playtime than Sasha, so kind of. But then again, so does Ashley. She has ah, way more playtime than I do, and I just had a negligent discharge. Nice. You gotta aim down range. You gotta aim down range. I put the negligent in negligent discharge. That's negligent. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking nutted before my dom said I could call that negligent discharge. Oh my god. That's that's the worst thing I've said all night. Sinker says, I take it back, 5 out of 10 game, can play with the beads, still can't eat the arcade machine coins. <clears throat> Vex says, I've been meaning to watch Oni plays. I like Smiling Friends, but wasn't aware of the creators till a co-worker pointed out. Here's the thing, I personally think the most important way to start Oni plays is to watch the Crash Bandicoot 2 playthrough. That's yes. like, that. that is how I started. Classic. It's how everybody should start. That is your, like, fucking fate zero. <clears throat> It's just, it's really, really, the chemistry between Ding Dong Duelian and, and Oni is just <laughs> fucking immaculate. It's, it's, it makes for really good Let's Play content. They're so good at just, like, playing off each other. Even, like, they're not even, like, really, like, best friends. They're just, like, people that acknowledge that their chemistry works together, so they recognize that, it like, it makes them good people to, like, hang out with. Hey, where's this tape at? Oh my ah. god. My <clears throat> point sucks. Vex says will remember that. Vexations Vex will remember that. What are you what high point are you using, Spiral? The, the C9, it's the only high point in this game. The Yeet Cannon? Yeah, the Yeet Cannon is in this game. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, the actual ass Yeet Cannon is in this game. I noticed some turrets don't have their motors exposed. Yeah, most of them don't. You'll You'll notice that that's uh Oh my fucking god. Wow. Oh my god. Don't you you'll fucking that wow me. To, you'll notice that that happens less and less the more you play the game. What, me shooting myself like a dumbass? No, uh, turrets that have their innards exposed. Ah. Okay, here we go. All right, mag chamber. I don't even know why I bother holstering the fucking thing. What is the point of doing? Oh, to to operate things. I forgot. You need to. You need me. Got to admit, what flaccid, what a flaccid final line for like a a a major antagonist in a video game to have. <laughs> you need me. Sinko says Ding Dong and Julia area was the best. Zach Lyle and Tomar are a different breed of funny, but Ding Dong and Julian are classic and comfortable. Totally fair. Mm -hmm. I do mm -hmm. really like Lyle and um Lyle and Tomar and Zach though. They're they're really good. I also miss oh, a yes. lot of the other boys. They don't have any more like a mean. He was great. <clears throat> I really liked the the episodes where uh Chris brought his silly fucking Irish friends over and they just started being <laughs> stupid. Yeah, like uh fucking uh Niall. Well, not even just Niall, just like he had some friends that were from the same town that he grew up in that were hanging out with him for a weekend, and so they decided to record. And it was just really funny because it just devolved into like... It literally devolved into what felt like a group of friends that had known each other since they were children just being fucking stupid. And in like is that... the best way possible. Okay, I was gonna say, like a good or a bad way? No, in a good way. In a good way. Like they already knew how to play off each other because they had grown up together. 
It was really interesting, and I don't Fuck. think you get to see that very often with Let's Plays. Totally fair. The media is oppressed. It's weird because like- Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete! Yo, is that Skinny Pete? It's weird because like it's Skinny Pete. Holy Fuck shit. you. I like Skinny Pete just being a really good way to kind of like break silence in case oh, I have man, trouble thinking Pete. up something to say. Inch, but that's what those are for. I mean, I was gonna say like fucking- it's interesting that I have people that I've known since I was a kid, and even, like, still, like, I kind of, like, have a little bit of trouble having that chemistry with them, just because, like, I don't know, like, if I've been away from someone for too long, I kind of struggle to connect with them again when I see them again. But eventually, I kind of, you know, like, sort of, like, congeal that force again, and it feels good when I do it. You wouldn't shoot this copy of Overgrowth, would you? Does that machine have f okay ne never mind for a second because of the blue light of the turret i thought the texture on the side of this machine was the fire blue texture from doom and i was about to say come on man you can do better than that <sighs> fuck's sake this is this is gonna be painful shooting with the yeet cannon is a fucking exercise in pain i swear to god <clears throat> It has so, the worst sights known to man. So what you're telling me is to not buy one. Please don't. Oh god. Okay, Vex. You're gonna have to wait until I have a revolver because the Bliat Jack Redeem is for revolvers only. <clears throat> also, look, it's Polybius. Like the actual game, Polybius. Why oh, am I, I missing? It. I'm supposed the fucking god, these irons suck. I'd rather have revolver irons. God, these irons suck. Me fighting the police chief in Resident Evil 2. That's a deep cut. Fuck you. Sideways. You fucking... Oh my god. Polybius. Yeah, Polybius yeah, is based. If this gun is, like, anything like its video game counterpart when it comes to <laughs> handling it, IRL, uh, I hate it. <laughs> Thanks, I would never high use point. one in real life. Thanks, high point. I hate it. It has a weird ass trigger pull. Its oh. irons are terrible, <clears throat> and it's made out of shitty materials. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reset until I get a revolver, so Vex can get that bleat check. <clears throat> Seems fair. Oh my god, these shots have been all over the place. Some of these, I don't even understand what the fucking grouping is. Because, like, I'm putting time between my shots. I'm not rapid firing. I like that the game keeps giving me a handgun like it knows. Thank you, Smith & Wesson Model 10. All right, here we go. Safe. Get fucked. <clears throat> I'm honestly enjoying the revolvers more than the handguns. I mean, I get the point that the handguns are supposed to be, like, eat, like more difficult to handle, so it's like a risk and reward thing. <clears throat> Ooh, one shot, baby! Turning off the floodlights is cool, too. Yeah, you can shoot them out, too. God damn it. Me when I've seen the signs. Oh my god, is that Russ Ragged in the chat? I may not be the best receiver. I don't... I don't know what else I was going to say after that.
God, this gun sucks. It sucks so much. I hate it. 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 It's terrible. I would never own one of these unless it was for the meme. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't own one even if it was for the meme. I would own one for the meme because it'd be funny to say I have a yeet cannon. You know, the, the, you know the place that I bought my most recent purchase from sell, uh, also sells the KSG. Really? I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know you could get that as a civilian. But apparently, oh. like the model that they that they sell is like just long enough to be able to like get past ATF regulations on that shit. Keep trying to kill you until you make it physically impossible for them to function. I love and the KSG. It looks so cool. When I move out, I should get one of those. Those would be cool. Right? Some creepo pulls up on me and I just fucking rack the shit. Like, try it. Do it. Maintain focus on your breathing. What the fuck is happening? If your attention wanders, that is normal. Just oh my fucking god. It's like some this game is like some weird bizarro gun focused version of the witness. Good job. Gonna cook some rice. Good shit, Reno. We'll be here. I just want to hear the singing. No, I can't. Gotcha. Okay, we've cleared the first level. You know, I haven't gotten any. Uh, I haven't gotten any threat voices in a long ass time. Have you noticed that? Mm, yeah. Sometimes it was that happens. Maybe it's because I keep fucking dying. <laughs> what if that fucking turret killed me right as I was loading into the next level? Wouldn't that be some... Wouldn't that be some Pepega bullshit? <laughs> it would be really funny. Which is why I'm glad it didn't happen. Okay. Safety's on. <laughs> I don't know why that sentence reminded me of that one group of, like, that one faction in Manhunt 1. I should play Manhunt. That'd be a good game. That'd be a good stream. Um, but there's, like, a faction of, uh, like, people that are, like, fucking, like, mercenaries and veterans that are all, like, super obsessed with war, and they're wearing, like, BDUs and ghillie suits and shit. And, like, well, sometimes if they hear you and they get, like, alerted, they just go, Safety's off, boys! Woohoo! It's like so fucking silly. Like they sound what like a kid fuck? running downstairs on Christmas to the tree. <laughs> right. <laughs> Counterpoint, maybe I shouldn't play Manhunt because it's an insanely violent game. Holy fuck. Yeah, I did the stupid thing again. So Oh. Please don't fuck this up. Oh. Oh my god. <clears throat> That's the fun part. That is true, yeah. And then there's Manhunt 2, which I actually really, really like because of its like cool little like MK Ultra subplot. Manhunt 2 slaps. It's too bad we're never getting another Manhunt game ever again. Not even because the games didn't sell well, it's just because Rockstar is never gonna make any other games because of <laughs> GTA 5. You think they're actually making a new GTA? At like do you think they're actually gonna make a six? No. They're just telling you that they will. They're not gonna do that. <clears throat> oh, hello, Mr. Turret. Good to see you this time of night. Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but... Didn't even need to shoot him. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck, we have a flying one. We have a flying one. 
Oh yeah? Yeah? Take yes. it out. Okay, what are the worst? Vex says nope, just gonna milk the shit out of a dry cow. Okay, what yeah. what are its weak points? Oh! I got its camera! Uh... Oh, they're actually surprisingly weak. Yeah, they're very fragile. You just have to hit the right spots. <gasps> no! Oh my fucking god. I just wanted Dude. to stand up on the ledge, and then I slipped over it, and then broke my legs below, and then a turret behind me killed me. Okay. <laughs> At least I'm, like, learning how to buzz through the fucking regular ones, though. All right, revolver time, fellas. Here we go. Fucking hell. The revolver is nice and familiar. I kind of like how it feels in my virtual hand, I guess. I mean, each gun does handle significantly differently. They really do. Yeah, like, that's one of my favorite things about this game is when you get the gun you like, you're like, oh, yeah, let's go. I don't know how I'm going to get 8 seconds with the 1911. See? Oh my god! the fact that you're a silhouette target. Oh my god, that's so fucking wild. I love that. I can't believe that. That's some good shit. That's some good shit, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, time to break me legs. <clears throat> oh, god damn it. Breaking my legs, running through broken glass. Man, I'm a regular MacGyver. Wait, is that not even Damn a balloon it. at all? Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to eight and a half. Oh, careful about shooting too close. Don't no. Yourself. Spiral, did you happen to see my Rodney Tangerfield tweet that I made? I don't think so. I, I thought it I thought it was kind of funny. It was like if Rodney Dangerfield was alive, he'd say shit like, Oh, fr freezing piccolo. Why not put the why not put the bobo in the oven? Hey, that's the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> See, I I grew up with enough old TV to like find that funny, but most people would think that's stupid as shit. Yeah, freeze and piccolo, freeze and piccolo. Why why not, why not put the obo in the oven? It's so. <laughs> Dumb. Freezing piccolo. Freezing piccolo. Why not put the oval in the oven? <laughs> I get no respect. Get no respect. Get, get, you have to add in that he can't. See, Vex gets it. No respect. It all started out great, and then it fell apart like a Chinese motorcycle. Wait, who am I talking to? <laughs> <laughs> it all started on the day I was born. My parents failed to show up. I get no respect. I get no respect. That is something he would say. Yeah, <laughs> I I just love the part where like some fucking rich baron or whatever shows shows him his daughter, and, and Larry Burns just goes, "Whoa, put it back in. She's not done yet." <laughs> <laughs> I I a lot of people don't like that era of Simpsons, but I think the Larry Burns episode was fucking great. I see that balloon. I love this stand up. You could instantly shut a heckler up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know how y'all know how much I love to joke about stand up comedians and I'm like, oh, 
set of comedians when their challenge is to be funny. But, like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I think there is some stand-up comedian. Like, I don't even think it's a question of era because there are a lot of comedians from Larry's era. God damn it, I called him Larry. There are a lot of comedians from Rodney's era that were also just not fucking funny. But, like, mm -hmm. even when Rodney was saying, like, a lot of boomerisms that wouldn't be considered funny now, at the very least, like, his delivery, his delivery was a big part of it. It's true. <laughs> A really iconic voice too. All right, hold up. Put that shit he in. Does. He really does. Oh, are there multiple balloons. <laughs> oh, we stole a balloon. Yeah, in receiver two. <clears throat> Damn. You have seen the signs around you. Yeah, I know I've seen the signs. Get it? I opened up my eyes and I saw the sign. Aha. Uh -huh. Remember this joke? Two and a half hours ago? And the people around you. know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become Fuck! You have been issued a series of audio. Block 17 jump scare. For advancing insight. Is it even a 17? Not to mention... Yeah, it, is seven, it is a 17. It's a okay. block. <laughs> I think it's like a Gen it's, 3 or 2. You know what would be really cool that I might get for shits and giggles if I like the Glock that I bought? Mm -hmm. I might get a Glock 20 just so I can have 10 millimeter. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad idea. Vex says not to mention Rodney's body movements and facial expressions. His eyes at the end of a choke would get me. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he fucking widened his eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, but like 10 millimeter rounds fascinate me because they're not really that popular, but like they're technically pretty good by comparison to like their 9 millimeter counterparts. At this point, I feel like the only real discerning factor between what type of ammo to get is just going to be its economic viability. Correct. Ouch. <clears throat> That box of nine Luger I had to buy for my safety course is pretty fucking expensive. Oh, yeah, like, if you go out and you buy, like, fucking, like, Winchester 9 mil or something like that, you're gonna spend an arm and a leg. <laughs> I... Uh, 9 mil in particular is very expensive right now. That's why I'm kind of annoyed that that's the hand that that's the handgun caliber I bought, but I really didn't want a 45, and I didn't really want a 22 plinker either. <laughs> no, I have to I have to exclusively use 454 Casul. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get FN 57 legally in the states, so I have to I have to use the Casul. <laughs> Jesus. I, I just hate that that's like the ammo the revolver and redneck rampage uses, and it's still a pea shooter because of how they balance the gunplay. Mm -hmm. I really want to play redneck rampage on stream, but it's just that the game is like fucking pulling teeth to play when it's not like silly. <clears throat> not to mention the humor is really bad. Like, like for every fucking like joke that's like kind of funny, like for every time the fact that like you have to end the level by fucking whacking your brother with a crowbar, that's how you that's how you end the level. There's still like prison jokes Jesus. that are just like that's not funny anymore, man. All right then. Yeah, but but there are there are still some like funny moments, like the fucking protagonist. If you like are AFK for long enough, you says shit like I farted, it's wet. I don't want to move. <laughs> it's like, all right, all right. Redneck Rampage, I see you. Also, the fact that the game is copyrighted music because Mojo Nixon uh, made a fucking song for it called Redneck Rampage. Mojo, Praise be to Mojo Nixon, by the way. Based individual. Synchros is shitted and farted. 
I went out for food during college once, and fucking as soon as we got back and got into class, my friend Chris just sends me a message saying, Yo, was there, like, anything wrong with your sandwich, dude? He's like, I'm shitting and farting right now. <laughs> <laughs> So that was the end of him. At least it wasn't like that time we went to Domino's. The only time I've ever been to a Domino's pizza. And we got stuck in the fucking snow and we like were like a half hour late for class. That was poggers, I guess. Fucking walked in the classroom. Hair all raggedy. Uh, clothes fucking soaking wet from the snow. Feet hurting. And I just stumble and fucking sit down in my chair like a rock. And I'm like... Nobody in this room knows what I went through today. I gotta say, getting good at, like, reloading semi-autos is, is a very fun thing to be able to be good at. Yeah! I just wish I was able to get far enough through the game that that was- that was even something I had to worry about. <laughs> Vex says that's to be expected with anything that has redneck in it. Always got to throw in the unex unacceptable stuff for shock value. Oh, yeah, no. Even the theme song by Mojo Nixon applies to that. Because there's a line where he just says, you're, says, Officer, I didn't know she was underage. Because the joke is supposed to be that the character in the song is doing insanely reviled things. And it's supposed to be played for goofs. But it's like, man... These- these things sure are reviled. Jesus. Redneck Rampage, everybody. We- we have- we have enemies that are literally just poop. My god. <laughs> the fucking enemies are like- like the regular ass like shotgun hit scanners are just called Billy Ray. <laughs> it's, it's almost like- it's almost like fucking something to marvel at. Oh, I was 0.5 milliseconds away from fucking the top score, son of a bitch. Hmm. <clears throat> I haven't gotten a Russian roulette redeem in a while. I think I'm finally in the clear. I think people have finally forgotten that we have that. That's good. Well, now that you brought it up, they haven't. That's the point of the joke spiral. You can't you oh, can't lampshade oh, the bit. Oh, Runo, Runo, I knew you were listening. You little shit. Hold yes, up. let's go. Two All right, star here we go. two star score, baby. Safe. We're clear. Y'all should see like how much fucking force. How much force I put into fucking revving my scroll wheel when I spin the cylinder, by the way. I swear to god I was doing it as you said it. HA! Same brain. As I like to say in the Rocco server, uh, we all share one brain cell and it is polished to a mirror shine. <laughs> You've seen the signs. Yeah, fuck you too. What's your name? Fuck you too, Leo Wiggins. You have realized <laughs> Why don't you call yourself fucking Cory Cruz or Alan Smithy? Canteen sip. Thank you for the canteen sip. This is why. We got a high dredge, fellas. Fella, homie, friend, person. Oh, we got a high dredge? Okay. For advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out. And eventually... Oh, man, I'm Skinny Pete! Yo, is that Skinny Pete? ...influences in your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. <clears throat> we use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them. You must listen to them. <laughs> well... It's not my stream, so I don't feel necessarily obligated to drink lots of water, but I will stretch. Very good. Do the stretch. And I'm gonna drink my coffee. <clears throat> I would have coffee, but I had cream soda before. God, I want a root beer float so bad now that you mentioned one. I'm gonna have to go to the fucking store and get stuff for one tomorrow. 
If slash when we hang out, I'm just making you a fucking root beer float on God. Aww. Also lasagna. And I'll, and I'll drink it and be cute like a girl in a diner. Of course you will. Mm -hmm. Honestly, hang like going out like and just like eating out at diners with friends and everybody is like honestly really fun to do. <clears throat> yeah, and it I'm is. Not, and I'm not just saying that because one of my favorite one day years songs is literally about just like always hanging out at a diner. <clears throat> it's called Coffee Eyes. It's a good song, and the chorus literally is just "There's always been a table for me there, through coffee eyes and blank stares, our late night affairs." Oh my god, it's a good song. I cut my hand on a piece of glass and I hope the scar lasts so I don't forget that there's been a table for me there. Bitch! Fuck it up. It's not in this room. Oh, no, it is in this room, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's an in-universe reason why my guns jam more than they do when I play Stalker, okay. Yep. Wow, they're giving me tapes like it's fucking Christmas. Jesus, fuck. Okay, the softening body gun- <laughs> Since body shaming had not yet been invented, I fucking love that. Oh my god, I just realized that he said Yeah, that. There, there are some surprise <laughs> quotes in, in the game's uh, dialogue sometimes. I really like it. It very much tells you, like, what side of the fence of the, uh, gun enthusiast circle they are on. <laughs> okay, the- the end screen that I got here implies not that I got killed by a bullet, but that a bullet knocked a fucking shard of glass into me and that killed me. No, I was killed by a turret. Vex says, Root Beer Float sounds heavenly right now. Probably be drinking more of that in the future when I want one of my weekly sodas. Gonna try caffeine detoxing soon. Oh, good luck. That is a great idea. <laughs> Best of luck with that. I am mostly off the caffeine, but I can't stop drinking coffee, even decaf, because it just tastes go good. I really like coffee. Oh, I got a fucking fresh magazine. Thank you, base receiver. <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna say it's 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 a good thing you bring that up too, because I like like I've kind of had to clarify in a lot of times. It's like I'm somebody who plays like a lot of games like this, and I get into these types of communities, but I always need to make it clear that like first off, a cab. Second, like you know, just because I like guns doesn't mean I'm like somebody who like makes it their entire personality, or at least I try not to, and I am very much. A very heavily left-leaning person. In fact, the only reason I believe in gun ownership for anybody is because I belong to a lot of different, you know, like, groups of people, uh, or rather, even just, like, communities of people who are historically attacked, so, like, we kind of need that to be able to stay alive. Not the average fucking, like, 40-year-old white dude who thinks, like, you know, that the fucking cops are gonna come for him or whatever, nine times out of ten because he has some type of illicit material, or because he thinks he has a hope of, you know, standing up to the government. It's, I would like to not be hate crime, so I would like to have some sort of means to deter that. Exactly. And I kind of feel the same way, so that's exactly why I am changing that. Oh, thanks for the hydrage, Gravy. What's up, homie? Hydrage! Other one. Fucking lightning round. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Gravy? Good to see you. Alright, here we go. Safety on. <laughs> I didn't even need to break in here. 
Wait. No, I hear the tapes. Brain tired, doing okay. How are either of you two? Haven't chatted with either of you in quite a while. Yeah, it's been a minute, Gravy. Uh, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm doing all right too. It's good to see you, yo. We're just uh, we're just booling and doing some foolish fire armory. Yeah, Gravy's familiar with this game. He's seen me play it more than once. Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. Uh, Gravy, I wanted to <laughs> remind you that if you're interested in watching us do the Lancer thingy, we're going to be playing tomorrow at, uh, what do we decide, on 1 EST? Uh, I think so, yeah. actually start playing the game now. I've pl spent plenty of time in the range. <laughs> it's alright. <clears throat> I don't even fuck around with the range. I spend the whole time playing this. So I'm like kind of not really paying attention to half of the game. Uh, yeah, because there's a lot to do in the range, and it's really helpful. Okay, I'm starting to make it like fucking second nature to hit the safety if I'm holstering the cold. I'm getting there. <laughs> or just keep the chamber unloaded. No. Body and your environment are part of a larger whole. Control your thoughts. Control your body. Control your environment. Okay, there we go. Control your Clear. Oh, sure, the game starts me with a fucking high point because I don't like it. I need to know what language, or at least like what culture, the singing for the tapes is from because I honestly fuck with it a lot. <clears throat> it's really cool. Reminder that, uh, Go listen to Uga Sanya, who is a, um, uh, I think, Belarus. It's either Belarus or another country, like another type of Slavic country from that area. But he makes dark ambient music, and he incorporates a lot of uh, elements of, like, you know, um, uh, fucking, like, indigenous singing from, like, areas of that part of the world, like Inuit uh, culture as well. Um, and uh, albums like his, like Borders of Worlds, is a fantastic fucking piece of music for that kind of thing. Uh, also listen to a song of his called To the Lord of the Polar Desert with Seven Faces. Very good music. Surprisingly yet yeah, loud and yet I'm not near enough to it. That's because it's not there. It's not just proximity, like it's where you are in the room too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a big factor. So what the fuck? It plays in this room. Or no, it doesn't? It's really loud in this room, but it doesn't appear to be in this room. That's a bit confusing. I'm trying to locate something it's 100% probably, uh, It's probably sound. on the other side of the wall. Well. Fuck. Me. Sideways. I mean, that kind of worked. Oh my god, you were right! It's right here! Mm -hmm. Well, I did it, and I almost killed myself in the process. Hey, Gravy, if I spawn with a revolver, I got a cool new redeem to show you.
Ah, uh, the fact that the gong actually works is so cool. I got a new achievement called Government. What is... Which is for... If it'll let me see. Rank up with the Colt 911. Ah, cool. <clears throat> oh. Oh, god damn it. We didn't start with a revolver. Okay, never mind. It'll have to wait. Alright, let's see here. Alright, what's our magazine looking like? Apt. Did I get killed by a ricochet? Nah, I succeeded. I'm good. So, uh, Gravy. Uh, when I have a revolver, and only when I have a revolver, I've added a brand new, um, redeem called Blackjack, which is... Wait. Which is, you, you spend, um... You, you spend 1,000 points to make me play a round of Russian Roulette. The singing from the tapes in this level, I shit you not, reminds me of a song by The Body called 10 Times a Day, Every Day a Stranger. <clears throat> Which is a hell of a novel, uh, or it's a hell of a song, because it includes a uh, spoken excerpt from a Polish novel called... Um, uh, fucking too loud a solitude, and it's 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 quite a fucking good song. Does that song hit the floor? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> God damn it! I I know you're making a reference to Drowning Pool, you motherfucker. Now the body's like a two piece experimental metal band from like somewhere in the southeast of America, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, often seen taking promotional photos holding rifles. Um. Oh, I fell to my death. All right, kiss level two goodbye again. Damn. I was going to say, often seen in promotional photos for their music, carrying rifles, uh, wearing executioner hoods or nooses on stage during their performances, often seen in album covers wearing burlap sacks over their heads. Uh, quite interesting individuals. Uh, you'll, you'll know you're listening to one of their songs if it sounds like either Homer Simpson screaming or a rooster cawing. Because that's what the vocalist Chip King's vocals sound like. But they're very good. Um, and the song 10 Times a Day, Every Day a Stranger is a surprisingly fucking, like, heavy-hitting song just because of its excerpt from the novel. Which I also used as my Steam review for Hunt Down the Freeman. If you go into my Steam profile, uh, my review for Hunt Down the Freeman is just that excerpt of the novel. Okay, so now Gravy gets to see what Bliat Jack is like, so hold up. <laughs> All those shells were spent? Okay, fine. Safe! Okay, we're clear. Good stuff. Whoa! But yeah, go listen to The Body. Great stuff. Their, uh, their album... Um, <clears throat> I have fought against it, but I can't any longer is a fantastic piece of work. Um, as is one of their uh, original, like, very early efforts being uh, all the waters of Earth turned to blood. Are you noticing a pattern here with these with these album <laughs> titles? Um, <clears throat> another one that they self-admittedly claimed was inspired by pop music, like The Weeknd, was called um, No One Deserves Happiness. It doesn't sound anything like what you think it would, but it's really good stuff. Uh, my personal favorite is, like, I'd say my album ranking would have to be uh, fucking, uh, what is it? I've tried, I've fought against it, but I can't any longer is my favorite. Um, I would say their second, I think, album, I Shall Die Here is my second favorite. And then, what is it? All the Waters of Earth Turned to Blood is, like, a really solid one, too. Some people, like, call them, like, try to pigeonhole them into sludge or doom metal, but it doesn't fit, because, like, there's barely really, like, metal elements in them. It's just, like, really, really angry, like kind of like droney noise stuff, but it's it's fantastic work. <clears throat> <clears throat> Completely tangential, but I heard body and experimental and immediately thought of experiment number six by Lemon Jelly, which is not metal at all. It's just an odd electronic song about documentation of a slowly decaying body. Lemon Jelly, where have I heard that? I swear to God, I've heard that. Lemon Jelly is a trip hop artist. <clears throat> I, I, I hear him in, like, circles with people like Bonobo and shit. Oh, I love and, Bonobo. And Rafiki. Man, I really wish I didn't delete that fucking, uh, fucking trip-hop, uh, and, like, 
lo-fi hip-hop uh, playlist that I used to listen to when I was playing CSGO back in 2016. That that playlist got me through so many matches without breaking things in my room. <laughs> there was a really good song that I liked that actually sampled... I think it might have been by Rafiki, but it actually sampled Leon the Professional. Because it sampled a line that's said by Gordon... Uh, Gordon. By Gary Oldman's character. Um, where he essentially talks about how he he takes no pleasure in killing people if they're people who don't appreciate their lives. And it's a fucked up line, but it's a really fucking good, like, scene in the movie. And it works for a good sample. Um, because Donnie, who is a uh, British drum and bass producer, also sampled it. Uh, no, Gravy, I'm afraid neither of those are the, uh, the subjects at play here. But good pulls, regardless. <laughs> Maybe I can find it. I, I know this song is named after the character from the professional Matilda. So I imagine if I just Google it, I'll find it again. Um, let's see here. No, it's getting me songs that reference uh, the other Matilda. That's not cutting it. Fuck. Okay. Leon the Professional's Matilda is better than Matilda Matilda. Don't fucking at me. <laughs> have you seen The Professional, uh, Spiral? No, I haven't, actually. We should watch it. It's a pretty good movie. It's about, like, a hitman who, like, raises, like, a kid who doesn't have anywhere else to go, and she becomes, like, his sidekick. <laughs> and Gary Oldman plays, like, a, like a corrupt cop who, like, is like totally like tweaking and is like a complete psychopath. There's like a scene where he just clears out an entire apartment complex, just like fucking firing at people for no reason because he doesn't give a fuck. Gravy says, anyway, I'm gonna go do Jesus. gravy things. Y'all take care. We'll hopefully chat with y'all soon. Care, gravy. Spyro, well, I'll try to show up to observe the Lancer thing, but I'll probably oversleep. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> if you want me, if you want, I can DM you. I don't really mind. Yeah. Fuck me. I am taking too many L's here. I think I'm yeah. going to take a quick bathroom break. That sounds like a plan. So we'll, we will take a quick break. I'll probably play this for maybe like another like half hour or so. We'll see. And then we'll see who we can raid out for the night. You're right back, homies. <laughs> you and your fucking silly noises. How's your energy, by the way, before I uh, jump up real quick? Okay, cool. Alright, we're muted. I'll be right back. Ads running. Yay!
Okay, I return. <clears throat> I think I'll give this maybe like a couple more tries and then I think we'll find somebody to raid out to. Oh, wait, my mic's been on this whole time. Whoops. Oh wow, me when I forget to, I accidentally don't mute, don't mute my fucking mic. Uh, get <laughs> and, wrecked, nerd. And y'all hear me say some dumb shit. Okay, whatever. At least it wasn't anything horrible. So, uh, we're gonna do a couple more rounds of this, and I think we're gonna find somebody to raid out to, because we are about three and a half hours into the night stream, um, <clears throat> and and this game is trying my patience at this point. It's getting a little bit much. So, yeah, we're gonna give this a little She's bit more goes. Too much. She's doing too much. I didn't wipe my butt. You, you got. You gotta. You gonna finish it? <laughs> you gonna finish it? You just gonna let me say you're like a dumbass after saying that? <laughs> This fucking monster even using her silence as a weapon against me. The cruelest, the cruelest intentions. <clears throat> Truly we began oh, with the good. purest of intentions and then fabricated the cruelest inventions. You just pooped and got up. Come on now. Wait, what? 
I said you just pooped and got up. Come on. Now. I did. Oh my god. You know what? I already fucked this one up. Let's go. <clears throat> Reset. My god. Vex says I couldn't hear that you. That one does not count. No, it no it doesn't. That's no good. <laughs> Well, at least I got a gun that doesn't shoot me if I fucking holster it. The bad news is it's a revolver. This game could be a horror game. Uh, it kind of is, in my <laughs> opinion. In, like, a very existential sense. Mmm. Just, like, near. So when it says hold left mouse button to fire revolver in double action mode, what does that mean? It means you have to hold down the trigger harder. Okay. It means that if your weapon is a double action, the trigger pull is going to be a little bit harder than if it was a single action, or if it was like, you know, already cocked or whatever. And some weapons have harder trigger pulls than others. <laughs> Evidently. Uh -huh. Gradual, creeping. Fucked up. I haven't seen the boiler room in a while, so it's good to see it again. I miss this area. Even though it's kind of spoopy. You just saying that gave me flashbacks of watching the Andy Griffith show and Barney shooting himself in the foot trying to holster his gun. <clears throat> I like to refer to it as Band of as Band of Brothers in myself. Is that one episode of Band of Brothers where the guy takes a fucking Luger up off like a Nazi dude, and he like he keeps it? Because he, like, wants to have, like, a fucking war trophy and he thinks it's cool. And because the dumbass doesn't know how the Luger works, he ends up fucking shooting it into his leg. And I think he almost bleeds out because it hits his a fucking vital artery. Oh, it hits his femoral <laughs> artery? That's so funny. We have a technique to help. We use tape as part of this technique. <laughs> what a hell of a show. Yeah, me and some kids in the fucking, um, a sleepaway camp in, like, a, a pretty prestigious college... Not, not, that didn't have anything to do with the actual content of the camp. It was just like, we just, you know, the camp just took place there during the summer. But I just ran up in like one of my fucking, you know, like another kid's dorm. We were just watching Band of Brothers for like a good afternoon. Then also watching him play fucking Lost Planet. What a, what a fucking franchise. Who remembers Lost Planet? Fucking... I really wanted to play it when I was younger. It looked really cool. <clears throat> fucking Capcom doesn't remember. I heard Lost Planet 2 is pretty cool. <clears throat> Fuck Monster Hunter. Lost Planet was like the fucking shoot, like, kill big monster. Wait a minute, was Lost Planet just like a fucking, like, futuristic alternative to Monster Hunter? Now that I think about it. Uh, kind of? Kind of? I wonder if I could get really. Rocco to try Lost Planet. He might like it in some degree. Some... I couldn't decide if I wanted to say de regard or degree, so I said regree. And then degard like a dumbass. It's out here. No, it's not. <laughs> Heard of it, but never played it. Uh, watching, here's the thing, is that watching somebody play a game that you've never played, and the only gameplay you see of it is somebody getting their ass handed to them in a boss fight that they're not handling very well, doesn't make a game look very fun at all. I'm just going to spoil that. Because that was my exposure to it. Or at least the first one. We live in a world in which hostile thoughts and ideas are constantly present in the media. Pressing in on our consciousness. Events are often also outside of our control. Outside of our control. But not outside of control. Others. Use these concepts and events to create this anxiety. Thought flown in sequence. Inserting harmful media into your Ooh. mind. Your thoughts can be hijacked. Once you are behaving in a reactive state, you will spread these contaminated ideas. Yeah, I remember the second one having a pretty big promotional campaign with Lost Planet. 
Because the second one, the whole thing was like, it's not a snowy planet anymore. But also, the monsters are bigger. I can't even remember what the story was, but it seemed pretty cool. Game, like, games that are based in, like, snowy environments, but also have, like, a lot of survival elements around the snowy environment are my personal favorite. Which is why I really want to play Cryostasis. <clears throat> Makes sense. I do enjoy in games with snowy environs quite a bit. I'll never get tired of snow. I get tired of deserts really fucking quick, but not snow. Except yeah, same here, honestly. Yeah. Except for in Forza Horizon 4, where the snow becomes fucking impossible to drive in, and it's like, thanks, this isn't fun. <laughs> oh, wow. There we go. No! Bastards. At least they keep spawning me with, like, weapons that I don't have to, like, hold down safeties or anything when I holster them, so I can just kind of, like, let it roll. Let the cylinder roll. Oh, yep, I knew I shouldn't have said that. Here we go. Alright. Let's do it. Oh. Hold up, wait. I accidentally did it wrong, but... Here we go, I fixed it. But I'm safe. <clears throat> Honestly, I think I'll keep that redeem under wraps in case I play this game again. Because that proves to be a fun little thing. Oh, it yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that you have it here. Maybe someday I can, uh, maybe I'll try and find more games that can be applicable to. I wonder if it will work for No More Room in Hell. Eh, probably not. Not a whole lot of games let you actually spin the cylinder like that, I've noticed, so. Right. Man, this is reminding me about the... <sighs> I just committed a negligent discharge, but I'm not... I, st I do not understand. Like, you can use tab to unholster, but I have just gotten out of the habit of doing it because for some reason my tab key allows me to make multiple inputs very easily. Oh, that's fucking annoying. <sighs> I am so fucking mad. Tech says it's definitely unique. It is. It is. I was going to say, this This whole experience just reminded me of the fact that I still haven't beaten The Witness. Because every time I get close to the end, I just kind of give up. Because I'm like, it's getting too difficult. And there's no way that whatever kind of explanation this game offers could be anywhere near like the level of what it's trying to build up with all this intrigue, with all these tapes, with all these videos, and with all the difficulty. Like, it's, it's just not going to be worth it. <clears throat> not to mention, you know, John Blow's an anti-vaxxer, so... I personally don't give a fuck about his philosophy anymore. <clears throat> I would have just kept getting more pathetic. I can't stand to be a burden on you. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. We got an Are You Paying say. Attention test. Good thing you were paying attention, right? Right, right? Safe. Gotcha. I'm just, I'm just cracked at receiver two. And by that, I mean like... I have holes in me. I am broken. <laughs> <laughs> you just be like, I'm built different. Not me. I'm built wrong. 
I'm defective. <laughs> I heard the combat music, but I didn't see nothing. <clears throat> Aha! Jason! 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 Sean! 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 <clears throat> You know what? I'm gonna watch the best friends play of um, fucking uh, Beyond Two Souls tonight. <clears throat> what a game that was! Holy fuck! I'm happy that uh, most of the people who worked on that game are free of David Cage. Right. <clears throat> and it sucks because Willem Dafoe did a good job. Willem Dafoe is like a weird actor because half of the time like I see like videos or pictures that seem to imply that he's like definitely somebody who has like a kind of like silly sense of humor that like is in line with a lot of the memes about him. Also, I accidentally knocked this magazine under the counter. Um, so I'm not going to get at that again. Uh, I'm fucked. Okay, never mind. But it's like, I can't tell if he's like actually a meme lord or if it's just like... Fuck's sake. Or if it's just like people, um, like photoshopping stuff of him. But he seems like a, he seems like a silly wacky guy. I love Willem Dafoe. <laughs> they were watching the, yeah, um... Assessment. Yeah. They were watching the lighthouse, uh, in the server just yesterday, actually. I was kind of... Yeah, kinda I wish saw I watched that. It. Eh, I'd already seen it once before. It's a movie that's a lot to take in. I've, I haven't seen it yet, and I really want to, just because it seems like a movie that's right up my alley. Mm. Because movies that are a lot to take in are kind of my favorite. That's why I like movies like Green Room. Big, big love for Green Room. What a fantastic movie. Even though I, I there's still scenes in it that I have to look away when I when I fucking happen. All right, let's see. The fucking glass breaking is so cacophonous. Nice job, idiot. Your motor doesn't fucking reach me. <clears throat> the threat will not need to kill us if it can get us to shoot each other. So instances that much is clear. Are common in firearm related accidents, resulting in dead friends and family. This often happens in situations with poor visibility. We are unsure. That is true. <clears throat> All right. I'm giving it. I'm giving it one more shot, and then we're calling it a night. And it gives me a Glock 17 for the pleasure. Which I immediately shoot myself with like a fucking idiot. Because they started me with a round in the chamber. Sadism. Sadism on every level. That's why you have to check, Sasha. Yes, but checking is boring. No, it's not. It's lit. Okay, come on now. As a fellow gun nerd, you can't tell me that, like, checking the fucking chamber and racking the slide and loading the ammo is not some <laughs> of the funnest parts. Oh, it is. But this is a video game. And and that's time that I could that I could spend either moving or shooting. That's time that I could spend ripping and tearing. Yeah, and shooting myself in the fucking kneecap like 50 times. Yeah, like a professional. Ugh. Fuck you. 
<laughs> Runa says, with my last iron, I call for the, for the forbidden one. Yo, is that Skinny Pete? Fuck. <clears throat> okay, that was not enough time to be my last roll. I'll give it Yo, one more man, shot. Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. Oh, God, that was the last of your iron, Runo? Hey, someone want to give us the last Bliat Jack of the night? <laughs> I'll allow it. Okay. Whoa. Yes, thank you, Vex. Let's go. Okay. Going by the rules, we just hit a blocked cylinder. Reset. Yeah, doing it the right way. Nope. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Y'all didn't get a win on me once. Too much Sasha. 20 time. Wait, hold up. Give me a second. By reward requests. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. <clears throat> Fifteen time. Uh, Russian Roulette Champion. Oh my god. You'll notice I had to remind myself I was at number 14 because I scrolled through like 15 fucking Skinny Pete's. <clears throat> Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. You know you can clear specific ones, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, so I died again too quickly. This is the real one. Let's just say, <laughs> let's say you have to clear at least level one in order for it to count. Does that sure. seem fair? Sure. Sure. If I get, I'll get past level one and that'll be it. <laughs> Did somebody say Skinny Pete? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete! Are you, uh, are you gonna summon Skinny Pete? I summon, summoned Pete! This is someone's skull with Skinny Pete's face on it. Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete! Dude, is that Skinny Pete? Dude, is that summoned Pete? <laughs> Absolutely soulless manifestation. <clears throat> okay. Gotta take a fat sip. Smip. Smip check. <clears throat> no tapes? Oh, I see. I have to be on the next level up. <clears throat> Boom. Booyah. All right. Where these tapes be? You little shit. I see you down there. You have <clears throat> the signs around How does that hurt me? Through the barrel? <clears throat> yeah. Barrels aren't that thin, or aren't that thick, rather. Oh my god. Okay. Bruh. This game is an abomination, and I wish harm upon all who worked on it. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Please don't, please oh don't God. think I was being serious when I say that. <clears throat> tree frogs somehow got in my room. What the fuck? You get tree frogs in your room? That Yo. sounds annoying, but also kind of cute. Yo, you got frogs in your room? Yo, you got, you got any frogs in your room? <laughs> <clears throat> like games on your phone, but you know, frogs in your room. Frogs are based. Can we get a I shout out? Frogs? Can we get a shout out to Froggy? 
<laughs> Froggy, where Froggy. are you? Froggy, where the fuck are you? I'm Dan Castellaneta. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not Dan Castellaneta. It's it's John St. John. <laughs> I was saying that because I sound like Dan Castellaneta. Oh yeah. Merge! Merge! My Froggy's gone! Why are you Marge, divorcing me? My Froggy's gone! What's wrong with you? Merge, what the fuck? <laughs> Merge, for fuck's sake, do it! Now I'm just thinking about how unfunny the Simpsons would be if they started just, like, cursing. <laughs> oh wait, you don't need to imagine it, it's called The Stixons. Uh, by Chris uh... O'Neill. Why did I get a high point? Stop giving me the yeet cannon, you pieces of shit. No. It's what you deserve, Spiral. <clears throat> okay, first off, there's no round chambered, so I do that. Then I pull out the magazine, and then I fill it up with the rounds, and then I put in the gun, and then I hit the thingy. Then I, I put it in the rounds, and then I round up the things, and then I fucking shoot him in the leg. No, I didn't shoot myself in the leg this time. Don't jump the gun. Quite literally. I'm a good shot. Wait, what? Damn! Die. I notice that sometimes, even if I hold down the holster, like the unholster button for not long enough, but just a little bit long enough, I still negligent fire, but it's not into me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that's because if you're aiming in the right, if you're aiming down range when you do it, you just negligent discharge into the wall. True. Which I think is a nice little bit of attention to detail. It's like, yeah, you can have a negligent discharge, but if you're like, like not aiming down right at yourself, you probably won't shoot yourself. Mm. At least you should hope that you don't. Mm, <clears throat> this is true. Oh, thank you for the other magazine video game. Alright. Okay, looks like I got two full mags. Oh, another magazine. Oh, you shouldn't have video game. Oh, and it's a non-blocked one. It's not blocked, and it almost looks to be full, in fact. In fact, hold up. No, it's not. Okay, it's empty. I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is the fastest I've ever seen somebody load a pistol magazine, by the way. These things take fucking forever to load. <clears throat> Uh, typically, yeah. I imagine if you're used to it, you could probably load one pretty quickly. <clears throat> Maybe, but I usually just see people invest in speed loaders for that. <clears throat> a speed loader for a semi-auto? Seems kind of silly. You can get them. It's, uh, oh, sure. oh, fuck. it's like a, a little thingy that, like, allows you to essentially, like, load the bullets into the magazine faster. <clears throat> It's just for impatient losers like me. If not, you can just keep pulling the slide back all the way and then release it to skip around from the magazine. Then repeat the check. In case your max spring is damaged and failed to feed, or is fitted incorrectly. Fuck me sideways. <laughs> I was doing really good too. I managed to get through the entire like I managed to go like a good couple of minutes without clapping myself with the Glock. I was almost kind of proud for all of a couple of minutes.
All right. Where is this shit? <clears throat> I'm actually managing to do quite well with this here yeet cannon. Good shit. Yeah. Barely making it out. It's got to be in here, I see. All right, well, making entry. You gotta be shitting me. All right, all right. I see I gotta do some risky business, huh? Oh, I see you, bitch. You have seen the signs around you. Okay. The crab is creeping. Off to a good step. Off to a good start. First tape pretty quickly. No damage taken. And that turret's toast. Let's go. I think this is going to be the one spiral. I believe in you. Let's see. Genuinely. Let's see what we got. We got this little shithead over here. Gotcha. Not perfect, but better. I still got a net positive in rounds gotten out of it, so... At least I'm making a difference. Alright, now I gotta be careful and not jump over the ledge like I do every single time I come to this ledge here. Okay. Shoot Sean again. Sean Mars or whatever. Which is the one that dies first? Is it Ethan or Sean? No, Ethan's the dad. Is it Sean or, or Jason? I think it's Jason. I don't actually remember. Because <laughs> I never actually played the game. I just know the memes. Oh, man, I'm Skinny Pete. Yo, is that Skinny Pete? What's up, Drew? <laughs> Yo, I'm Skinny Pete. My God. I think it was Jason. Because Sean is at the end. And Jason is always like, Jason! Jason! He doesn't even sound like he's, like, really afraid. I love back in, like, 2016 when I saw some pictures of Ray William Johnson, and I was, like, he, he started to, like, grow out his facial hair, and I'm, like, he literally looks like Ethan Mars after his kid died. I will say I thought I thought uh, Agent Norman, or should I say Norman Jaden, was pretty cool. I thought he was an okay character. <laughs> I I kind of like the idea where like, do you know like at one point there's like the thing where like in his glasses he has like his fucking AI butler be like, hey, just be careful not to indulge too much in it, because it could be dangerous. And if you're a dumbass like I was, you think he's talking about the drugs that Norman does? He's actually talking about the glasses. All right, it can't shoot me. There we go, baby. And at then, three tapes in, no damage. All right, we're calling it a night. <laughs> Oof. We're calling it a night, fellas. Hey, you tried your best. 
I did try my best. This is a game that requires a lot more, like, a lot more mindful playing than I figured it did. It's like, this is a game where you gotta be, like, all there when you're playing it to really succeed. And honestly, I really respect that out of it. It's got insane levels of detail. Um, give me a second. I'm gonna bring this to the bar for a debrief. Sounds like plan to me. But yeah, so it's got insane levels of detail. Really, really like the amount of, like, um, fucking depth there is to controlling this thing. Like, at, at first, like, almost like, like handling a real weapon, I'd imagine, to somebody who's never held one, it feels really alien to be like, oh, what, what, what do I fucking do? What buttons do I press? How do I deal with this? And then, over time, it becomes second nature, and you're just kind of dealing with it like a real FPS protagonist. And it's a, it's a progression of the player rather than the character or the environment, and I honestly find that to be really cool. I like that a lot. Um, I'm probably going to find myself sinking a lot of time into this, much like other games of this nature, like Brigador even, or fucking Nightmare Reaper. It's a good little game, and I, I'm, I'm really, I really fuck with it, and I'm super happy that I got to, uh, I got to give it a try on stream. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> most importantly, thank you for showing me it. Of course. Yeah, I, I really enjoy playing this game, and I think you'll have a lot of fun playing it too. Yeah, I have so far. I, I honestly have a lot more fun playing it solo and just like completely by myself without anybody around because it's like I just get to kind of like soak in the atmosphere and kind of there, there. It feels like there's a lot more deliberation behind every trigger pull when it's just me, myself and I. And I hear that oh, motor. Man, I'm skinny Pete. Is that motor? Is this skinny Pete? And I hear that motor whizzing oh, around the corner God. and I know what's happening. And it's, it's a really tense moment. <laughs> so let me see. Who's streaming? Because I think I know who we can stream. And I think I know what our stream message is gonna be. Do you, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Spiral? I... I actually think I'm at a loss on this one. Well, Sneb is playing Jump King. And I think our raid message is gonna be... Yo, I'm Skinny P. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I'm Skitty P. There's your raid. There's your raid message, homies. You copy paste that. Oh, what the fuck are we getting? Are you fucking serious? We're getting raided right before we're about to raid out. All right. Well. Ah, uh, of course. I guess consider uh, this. Of course. Consider this the great handoff of people, because you've handed me your people, and I'm going to hand them off to somebody else. <laughs> but thank you, Lady Bun, for the raid. How are you doing tonight? Let me give you a shout out. Um. Uh, let's see here. Holy fuck. That is... What are the goddamn chances, bruh? Wait, what? Did I misspell their name? Yes, I did. Hold you up. sure did. Wrong one! Wrong one! Okay, you? there we go. There we go. <clears throat> Let me fix that real quick. So, uh, how is... I guess we'll just do a real quick debrief for Ladybone here. How was your stream, homie? What'd you do? What are you up to? <clears throat> Playing some Pictionary. Good shit. Sounds like a good time, yo. Uh, so Spiral and I just got finished with quite a lengthy stream of playing some Receiver 2. Uh, y'all got- they, they got to watch me play a little bit of Russian Roulette, got to see me shoot myself in the leg like I'm fucking Band of Brothers. It was a good time, it was a good time. Good fun was had by all. We're about to send our people over to my homie Sneb who's playing some Jump King right now. Rummy, you motherfucker! You did this! This is your fault! Well... How about, how about we get a nice big fucking uh, lightning round of Skinny Pete while I set up the raid? In the meantime, sp round of Spiral, uh, since we've got more people, uh, give everybody a nice rundown of who you are oh, and man, what you- Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete! Is that Skinny Pete? <laughs> give, Holy shit, it's more Skinny Pete! Give everybody a nice so, hello, rundown. Eric. Hello, Erics, what's up? <clears throat> give everybody a nice rundown of who you are and what you do. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'm gonna do that while I'm stretching. Uh, hi, my name's Spiral Galaxy. I'm a Fennec Fox AI hybrid VTuber. Uh, I play lots of different games, but I don't play them right now because I'm on hiatus. Um, oh man, I'm Skinny Pete! Week. That's Skinny Pete! Not really Pete. sure what I'm gonna lead in with, but <laughs> I'll lead in with Skinny Pete. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a fucking cat. I'm not a fucking cat, Eric's. Don't listen to Eric's. Don't, don't listen to Drift either. I'm not a cat. I'm a fox. I swear <laughs> to God. I swear to God. 
But yeah, uh, if you want, you can check out my VOD archive. It's on my About page on my Twitch. Uh, it's got a lot of my old stuff on it. And I'm planning on coming back to streaming next week. Uh, it's not going to be a big song and dance. I'm planning a re-debut for a couple months from now, I think. So it's just going to be a little nice little <laughs> return to form with maybe a few little extras. Not a cat. God damn it. That is Sasha, basis don't encourage them. Sorry. Damn I... it. Anyway, here is the... God damn it, I fucked it up again. I'm a fnnick. I hate I'm that the shadow defaults defaults to like me <laughs> if I fuck it up. Regardless, ah. here's Spiral's channel. Go check them out. They're amazing. They're a wonderful co-host and a wonderful friend, and they were great to have on tonight. So with that being said, what? we're gonna we're gonna once again get ourselves ready to raid Sneb uh, while we still got some time. So yeah, everybody. This. Yeah, thank you again so much, uh, Laney, for the raid, and I, I'm glad you had a great time tonight, and it's good to see you, and um, I uh, can't wait to send can't wait to send these fellows off to go see Sneb, because Sneb, Sneb's stream is looking to be a ton of fun. So, for those who just joined, uh, you can use whatever emotes you want, but our, our raid message is right here. Yo, I'm Skinny Pete, and you know why we're saying that? Yo, I'm Skinny Pete! You know why we're saying that? Because... Oh man, I'm Skinny Pete. <laughs> is it funny? Yeah, it is funny. Well, you didn't you didn't see in Spiral, but I redeemed Skinny Pete <laughs> to prove the point. So, Spiral, thank you again so much. Everybody, say goodbye to Spiral. Well, of course. And bye bye. Sp Spiral, say goodbye. Right. Everybody, have a wonderful night. Uh, I'll get to you in just a moment, and I'm gonna go to the end screen and play us out. So, here we go. Thank you all so much. Is that Skinny Pete? Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> so it's been a wonderful night. Honestly, I had a lot of fun playing this game. I might revisit on stream again soon. There's a couple of ideas I have. I'm thinking of maybe going to some classic survival horror uh, for some of my newer stuff. I'm thinking about maybe playing some Left 4 Dead this Thursday. So I'll be talking around with some people and seeing who I might run up with. Um, that being said, uh, wonderful turnout, really good time, great banter, good time was had by all. So I'm going to send all of y'all over to Sneb. So Sneb is an extremely awesome and talented streamer. Uh, she's playing Jump King tonight. Uh, she made her model and lived all by herself. Amazing motherfucker. And I'm a goddamn idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. My end screen music was at max volume. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me, Cinco. But yeah, long story short, uh, Sneb is fucking awesome. So, wait. Wait, Sneb is ending her stream. Okay, I'm sending all of you over right fucking now. Go. Go. <laughs> Get in there. Have a wonderful night, friends. See you there.